Alright, ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome back. It's me, Addy, again, and I hope you guys are doing amazing as always. Uh, we're back tonight after a week of not having played the Final Fantasy VII New Threat mod. We started this for my stream anniversary last Friday, I believe. Um, and I'm excited to continue more of it. I know I said the other day that I would be playing more Mario and Luigi tonight, and believe you me, I'm excited to do so, but I don't want to play that uh, when I'm unable to do a super long stream. Like, typically I stream six to seven hours, uh, but today I am probably going to be streaming a little bit uh, shorter than usual uh, because I got to be up early tomorrow. So I'm going to be streaming maybe two hours to two and a half-ish hours. I know not super long at all. Uh, relatively speaking, but um, I wanted to do a stream anyway. I was thinking about not coming live tonight, uh, not going live tonight, not doing a stream, but uh, I decided against that, right? I don't want to leave you guys hanging and, you know, got to keep the stream room alive. It's nothing more fun than doing a stream. So uh, I figured we'd do something different. We'd play some more New Threat because I also don't want to leave this game hanging for too long. Um, it was really fun last week and I cannot wait to see where everything goes here. Uh, we left Midgar, and we are headed out into the, uh, open worlds, the open wilderness, the overworld, whatever you want to call it. Um, and some excited, uh, exciting things can definitely take place within two to two and a half hours, um, of this next portion of the game, considering the Nibelheim flashback and everything. Uh, I'm super stoked to see just how things change up here with, uh, New Threat, especially with Route B, where, um... It's mainly story focused and shifting up events and stuff like that. So let's check this out, folks. Uh, real stoke for this. Um, there we go. Got this all set up. And I should mention, and so take a little quick second to mention here, that I am running a couple new, new mods since last time. I was a little bit nervous to run these on the last stream, so I didn't. But uh, before the stream started tonight, I decided to... Uh, tweak around a little bit with some of the other mods that are available in 7th Heaven. So we got a really cool one here where we can essentially zoom in and out of the world map and kind of view it as a sort of globe, which is really cool. Um, also got some... Uh, I got the textures patched up a little bit for the text and everything like that. The font upscaling um, is looking a lot better than the last time. And so, yeah, really excited to continue because, yeah, I should uh, mention for... Anyone who uh, is wondering, this is not just a playthrough of the new threat mod, which changes up a lot of gameplay and story stuff, but I've also thrown in a couple other mods as well, um, just to spice things up as much as possible uh, for this FF7 playthrough. But yeah, once again, thank you everyone uh, for tuning into the stream anniversary uh, last week. I really do appreciate that. Um, uh, everyone who supported the stream, everyone who was here for the five-year celebration where we played New Threat. Uh, and I'm glad I'm continuing this because it's not... Uh, usually I don't stream or like do a start a series on a stream anniversary. It's kind of like a one-and-done thing. But it's FF7, man. I gotta make an exception to that here. So, hell yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's get this started, shall we? Make sure battle mode is enabled. Never know when you accidentally hit some kind of hotkey or shortcut that makes things spooky here. Uh, okay. First battle of the night. Here we got the Wolvies. It's going to be kind of fun going through uh, the Midgar Wilds. Um, especially after playing Rebirth, right? Half a year ago. It's going to be a real interesting and slightly trippy experience, right? Experience the remake and... Um, uh, the remake of the Midgar Wilds and the open world and everything, and now we're experiencing the D-make, if you will. So, uh, oh yeah. And that's right, one of the coolest things about, um, New Threat here is every single character gets this passive ability. So, um, gotta mess around with those for sure. Weapons work differently too, like they all have these special effects. Aerith's staff can heal now. Check it. Let's go. Sorry, Tifa. Didn't mean to whack you, but it's for your own good. Uh, also, we gotta, like, spam steel as much as we possibly can. Uh, because I know they shifted up a bunch of the items across the characters and the, or rather, the mobs. Uh, from the vanilla game. It feels so nice to play this game modded, man. Just seeing all the textures and all the, the bells and whistles. All the fidelity upgrades. Alright, so we're in come. 
Uh, this is actually one of my most anticipated parts of this mod, is seeing the way that the Calm and Nibelheim flashback stuff goes down. So this is Calm. Wonder if everyone's here already. Let's hurry over to the end. I think that is a good idea. Let us proceed, Kurado. Uh, let us proceed, sure. Very, very stoked to see uh, everything has changed. Uh, with Newth right here for the flashback. Also, I do want to... Oh, okay. For some reason, I could have sworn in vanilla FS7, this innkeeper just automatically tells you without you uh, talking to her that your party's upstairs. Okay. Cloud, you're here. Or, Cloud, you're late. How dare you? How could you? Here we go. We're at the beginning of Rebirth. Yo, man, you're late. Sorry to keep you waiting. Can't get over how nice these models look, right? Guess everyone's here now. So, let's hear your story, kiddo. You know, the one about Sephiroth and this crisis facing the planet. Let's hear it all. I could make my voice a little more gravelly when reading Barrett's lines here, but I don't want to strain it too much tonight. <laughs> I used to want to be like Sephiroth, so I joined Soldier. Alright, so far so samey. Kind of similar to the vanilla game. After I made first class, we worked together for a while and eventually became friends. Friends, huh? Yeah. He was a famous war hero. Everyone looked up to him. I looked up to him too. Until one day. After the war, there was an incident at the Mako reactor in Nibelheim. A soldier was sent to investigate. That was five years ago. That was ten and six years. Uh, what should I tell them? The whole thing? Oh! Interesting. So I guess they haven't changed the Nibelheim flashback? Considering we have an option to, like, keep it short here. I will do the whole thing, though, because, come on, it's a Nibelheim flashback. How could we not? And it'll be kind of cool to see it all with the <laughs> um, with the new models here. Sure is raining hard. I can never experience a Nibelheim flashback enough, especially in OG FF7. Man, and I will admit, I loved Rebirth, right? I have nothing but positive things to say about it. What I will say, though, is that... The one tiny component of that game, the one tiny facet of that game where I preferred the original to the way they handle it in Rebirth was the whole Nibelheim episode. Um, it, oh, no, okay, no, 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 I should rephrase that. Apologies. The whole thing was amazing, right? Don't get me wrong. It was incredible, but there was one tiny aspect of it, which isn't so tiny to me at least, where I preferred the original's approach to it over the remakes or Rebirth, rather. Um, where you go through Shinra Manor. I think Shinra Manor was a little bit better, well, was significantly better designed, in, in my personal opinion, um, aesthetically, in the original FF7. Uh, and we're about to see it again. Hey, how are you doing? I'm alright. I uh, wouldn't know. Yo, Ian, what's up, man? Uh, these graphics look zhushed up. Absolutely, yeah. We're playing uh, modded FF7. So we started this last week, and we had a couple of mods running for this. So the main one being New Threat, where basically a lot of the gameplay elements and story elements have been uh, shuffled up. And it's been real interesting so far. And uh, the other ones are like more glitz and glammy mods. So uh, the, the, we've replaced the models with these snazzier looking ones and upscale textures in all of the levels, 60 FPS, and also... Um, full screen so we've um made the game finally fit the entire entire monitor and you know without stretching it out proper like widescreen and that's really nice so yeah looking forward to playing more of this it's basically like playing um an ff7 remake or rather an ff7 remaster i should say this is like if they remastered ff7 ever had motion sickness just hang in there or how you doing ian how's your how is the start to your weekend? How is your Friday going? Everything okay, as Cloud said? Hey. Settle down. And yeah, I should say, we can discuss spoilers on this playthrough, so... I make all the, the Zack... The Zack Smack Jack jokes and references and all that kind of stuff I want here. 
They gave me some new materia, says Zack the Puppy. It'll give us a serious edge. I can't wait to use it. Just like a kid. So yeah, I don't think that the developers of this mod changed anything up for the flashback, unfortunately, given that we have the option to skip it, but here's hoping, we'll see. And also, like I said, I can go through the Nibelheim flashback like a million and one times. Whatevs, man. Is this mission going to be dangerous? The board suggested it will be. Good. Exactly what Cloud said, Ian. Good. I'm glad that it's going good. Uh, hope you're doing well, too. I am. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be a short stream tonight because I got to be up early tomorrow. My friend's leaving the country, so we'll probably be streaming like two to two and a half-ish hours. But I'm looking forward to this. I, I wanted to play other stuff like Mario and Luigi or more Overwatch tonight, but I feel like if I do those, I might end up going a little too long. Or rather, I won't end up... With Overwatch, this makes less sense, but with Mario and Luigi, I want to kind of like... It's a new game. Um, I want to like get more done in a short period of time, or rather, uh, if, there, if there's a short period of time, I'll get less done, uh, and, and something like that, and I want to be able to spend more time with it, so I figured we'd play more New Threat, and I'm glad we're getting to do so, because otherwise I could definitely see myself just kind of leaving this in the dust, and I really don't want to. Uh, this will be a very slow playthrough through this mod, I feel like, um, because there are other games that I really want to spend a lot of time with, um, and on top of that, I've done a lot of ff7 this past year and i don't want to like burn myself out of it too much oh lord he's squatting i know what you are cloud yeah this is this is definitely not very cloud coded cloud is being very sus at the moment i joined soldier to be like you to become a hero on a lock like you and talk like you too uh by the time i made first class the war was already over pretty much all my hopes of becoming famous ended with the war i guess so that's why i always sign up whenever there's a big mission kind of a way to prove myself I guess hanging out with Mr. Sephiroth can't hurt either. <laughs> Love how he calls him Mr. Sephiroth. I suppose I'll need you, uh, need to go over the briefing with you again. I just realized we have Hard Edge. Oh man, I kind of hate that though at the same time. Because it's not the Buster Sword in the flashback. Because the mod allows us to see whatever weapon we have on. Our mission is to investigate Nibelheim's Mako reactor. There have been reports of monsters attacking the town. So it's likely that there's been a Mako leak. Raw Mako can make monsters more aggressive, so after we take care of them, we'll enter the reactor and identify any problems there. Monsters in Nibelheim, huh. Hey, isn't that... Mako Reactor in Nibelheim. That is our target. Nibelheim. That's where I'm from. I mean, uh, <clears throat> Nibelheim. Hmm, hometown. Sir, there's some kind of monster! It's, it's huge! It's on the road! Seems they found us first. Let's mosey. Yep, same monster and everything. Okay, so... Route B here doesn't really change up... ...anything. That's fine. Oh, I was so hoping there would be, like, a different model they would use for Younger Cloud. With his, like, you know, with a regular first-class outfit. Not the, um... Modified shoulder guard and everything, or pauldron. Sephiroth's strength is unreal. He's far stronger in reality than any stories you might have heard about him. Is he really that strong? Was he different in some way? It's super cool playing this again after Rebirth. Good question. That's actually an important part of why this all started. But for now, we reach Nibelheim. Ooh. Old as gold, man. OG Nibelheim, here we come. So, how does it feel to be back in your hometown? I have to admit, I'm a little curious. I don't have a hometown, you see. Must be from somewhere. What about your parents? I wasn't raised by my parents. The company looked after me. My mother's name was Genova. She died during childbirth. And as for my father... <laughs> Why am I talking about this? What does not matter? All right, let's a go. <laughs> I love how the handle for hard edge is clipping through my noggin right now. Oh, that's actual jokes. What's up, Cloud? Keep wandering around here and we'll get in trouble. Being a watch is so boring. Just sit tight, stop whining. 
will come and talk to you once in a while. Just stick it, stick with it for now, rookie. So one thing I absolutely loved. So this is going to be kind of fun going through Nibelheim. We can do a little um, comparison of everything that we saw being redone in Rebirth from this portion of the game. One of my absolute favorite details that I didn't really catch on to immediately when I started Rebirth, when you walk into the town, is how when you talk to this uh, little grunt here, who obviously is actually Cloud, um, is Cloud hears, like from his perspective in Rebirth, he hears this grunt being all upbeat and energetic and just kind of like messing around and being all, you know, just, just trying to live on edge. But the, the, the cool thing about that is obviously what he's hearing, what he thinks that Grunt is saying from his POV is what Zack is actually saying to him as the, the first class that we're standing here as. So he has like the, the dialogue mixed up. Like what he thinks that dude is saying is actually what Zack is saying. Um, and the way that Cloud responds to that Grunt in Rebirth um, is the way that Zack actually responds to that Grunt in Rebirth. Like they, they've got the... Like they, they, he mixes up the, um, who says what, essentially. It's, it's the other way around. Just to like, as a little way of showing, uh, that Cloud's not all there and he's an unreliable narrator and doesn't remember everything that happened correctly. Like, there's so many cool little hints sprinkled throughout, uh, this segment here, um, in Rebirth that just has so much foreshadowing. It's amazing. Um, and when eventually they do the big reveal in, in part three about who Cloud actually is and all of that, um, it's going to be so cool to like be able to look back on all the little subtle details that built up to that moment and foreshadowed it here. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, to me, it was like the music that was so damn good when you walk into Nibelheim for the very first time. The way they redid uh, Heart of Anxiety was incredible. Yo, wait a minute. Yeah, and the parts where Barrett was interrupting Cloud and his retelling of the story, how the screen would go all like static and stuff, was really cool too. Uh, the name of Sephiroth's mother. Isn't that, uh, Genova? Uh, I remember Genova. That's that damn headless spook living in the Shinra building. That's right. Barrett, could you please let us hear what Cloud has to say? You can ask questions later. Tifa, I was just... Okay, Cloud, continue. So, is this the part when the childhood friends reunite? Yeah, I saw Tifa. The town was quiet. Everyone must have been in their houses, afraid to come out because of the monsters. Or maybe they were afraid of us. We leave for the reactor at Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting. I can also, like, pan the camera around the levels. It's so cool. might be another attack, so one of you stay on watch. Oh, and you may visit your friends and family, if you wish. That's uh, Tifa's pops, right? Yep, he brought his camera. I'm gonna try and get a shot of Sephiroth taking out a monster. I'll take my picture instead. Wow, I'm gonna pretend not to be offended by his reply. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's mosey on into Z in here. What's up, Zongon? The timing is suspicious. We shouldn't are really here to get rid of the monsters. And who are you? I am Zongon. I travel around the world instructing people in the way of martial arts. <laughs> I love the way they recreated this part. Zongon's intro in Rebirth. It's so cool how much effort they put into that little cutscene in exchange with a the character. They gave him his own theme and everything and made it so theatrical. But then you never see him again. That was kind of a like that's not a bad thing, but it's just such a bummer because of how cool they made him seem. I really hope we get more flashbacks or something, or maybe we even get to see him in, like, present day somewhere. Um, in part three. I have over a hundred students all over the world. In this town, a young girl named Tifa is my student. Cool story, bruv. Did you say Tifa? Tifa has good sense. She'll be a powerful fighter. All right, pops. Hope to see you in part three, man, of the, the remake trilogy. 
They really uh, put you in the backseat, didn't they? Deserve better. Justice for Zongon, man. What's up, Innkeeper? Yes, I'm working with Sephiroth. I did very cool things, and I'm totally cloud. Uh, what's up, Momo? How's it going? Thank you for dropping in. Uh, just, uh, just over a hundred students. Shaking my head, dude. Yeah, come on. That's disappointing. You, you see that guy who's decked out? He had, a, he had, like, a cape and everything. He had the whole getup. Only over a hundred students? Pfft. Come on. Fake martial artist, man. That guy is faker than Steven Seagal. <laughs> How's it going, Momo? I'm doing well, man. I'm, um... Continuing my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Modded uh, that I started last week for my stream anniversary, and it has been going quite well. Been enjoying it. This is my uh, favorite game of all time, actually. But I appreciate you. Are you? I apologize if I've got you mixed up with someone else. Are you the dude from Toosie's server? <laughs> Please tell me you know what I'm talking about and that you're who I'm thinking of. And that you're the right Momo. Do I have the right guy? Oh god. What's up, Sevi? <laughs> Faker than Fox News. Facts. <laughs> the scenery. I feel like I know this place. Do you know? Who is Toosie? Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, he sounds like a complete clown. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume you're memeing. Yes, he is. He absolutely is. Uh, who should release his next vid? Vid? What are you talking about, vid? Okay, now I think I got the wrong Toozy. Who's Toozy and what, what is this vid you're talking about? <laughs> no, <I'm> kidding. <laughs> now that lazy man, come on, man. We demand content. We're, we're, we're getting this content for free. So we're entitled to be able to tell him exactly when we want it. The customer is always right. That's exactly how it goes. <laughs> Yeah, that's me a few. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> we need content. We demand it. But dude, thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. Uh, did you go into my house, Kudo, though? Yes, I did. Uh, I thought you might be home. But no, I, um... I can give you some leaks. Because I know... I may know Toosie personally. He is like my dad who works for Microsoft. Uh, his new video is going good. I have seen footage with my own two eyes. I was uh, invited to his uh, to his very prestigious studio, the same way YouTubers get invited to uh, From Software HQ to play the latest Souls-like games um, and leave From Software HQ crying because those games do that to you. Um, I was able to lay my mortal eyes upon his next YouTube video, and it is going good, and you will not be disappointed. <laughs> Uh, it's like my follow. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that a lot. I'm oh, sorry, you did follow. Yeah, just, holy shit. I just, I don't know how that didn't pop up on the stream. I apologize. I usually have alerts for follows and stuff. Oh, that was, okay, that was actually 11 hours ago, I see, so it's probably off stream. Thank you, man. Um, I may also have some leaks. Oh, shit. Leaks everywhere, man. And we need some tape. We need to be like that dude in the in that meme where he's just slapping a, a slice of tape onto that jug of water <laughs> that's just leaking everywhere did you go into my room cloud yes i did i went panty hunting this part was so good in rebirth where you, where you can go and he kept it you can go into tifa's room and you look through her closet they, they left out the orthopedic underwear part but they gave us something really good as a replacement for that, which was just Aerith and, and Tifa going, YOU ASSHOLE! Uh, it's true. It's true, Tifa. Come on, man. Like, come on, girl. Girl. Lass. Ah, uh, we're talking about something really important here. Well, so am I! So am I! Your orthopedic underwear is incredibly important. This is a canon event. Necessary for saving the planet. And, oh my god, the piano. <sighs> the... I'm not even going to do this, dude. I'm sorry, but 100%ing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and having to do the piano stuff, even though those weren't associated with the trophies, or, or the platinum, rather, just trying to get 100% or 5 stars on every single song, made me never want to see a piano in anything FS7 ever again. Sorry, not sorry. 
uh follow before you started streaming yeah true true thank you so much i appreciate that a lot yeah i hope you're doing well man hope your uh friday's going good hope you're looking forward to the weekend this mansion no i'll come here later ever played final fantasy 7 before or uh, any of the ffs Uh, I'm assuming you have a stream delay. Do I have stream delay? Um, as in, like, not being able to see the message as soon as it pops up, or, like... Oh, it looks like everything's synced. Um, it looks like a fun game, and no, I haven't played, uh, Final Fantasy. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Or, not, maybe not this game per se, if you've never played it before. This is like a classic. It's largely considered to be the best one, but um, there are many, many other ones that are um, equally as good, if not, you know, argu arguably better, because a lot of people have their own subjective opinions towards different Final Fantasy games, which is the beauty of the series. Um, I highly recommend it. Definitely, if you know, you like JRPGs, turn-based combat stuff, and just characters banding together, saving the world, all that, um, definitely dip your toes someday into one of them. I would recommend this one to the end of my days because it's my favorite, but there's so many other really good ones. Uh, test one, two, three, two point three four second delay. Oh shit, yeah, I think there's a tiny, tiny delay. Maybe I don't think it'll ever be a hundred percent one to one. Um, and then like there's also the the thing of me not me kind of seeing that there's a new message, but not immediately reading it as soon as it pops up just because. Um. Uh, what you call it? Uh, I'm 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 finishing my last thought. Uh, I used to play the heck out of JRPGs, but then they got ruined for me when I played MMOs. Oh, I gosh, yeah, and I think you were mentioning MMOs too in Tuzi's server, right? Yeah, I was never, unfortunately, a big MMO guy. I wasn't able to get into them a whole uh, a whole lot. I've tried many times. My friend tried to get me into uh, World of World of Warcraft a long time ago. But I just couldn't do it. It's not that I, like, don't like them. They are great games, objectively. It's just that they're not for me, I don't think. The same way just people have really different tastes. Um, hate him, can't touch him. That's totally fair. What would you say is your favorite game? Like, what do you what do you play a whole bunch of? We have an early start tomorrow, so we should get some sleep. Let's go. I got an early start tomorrow, too. <laughs> I'm right there with you on that, Sephiroth. Or she's young. I hope we can rely on her. Depends, gotcha. That's a that's a pretty pretty typical answer, I would say. That's a pretty normal answer. Kind of um it, 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 it's it's uncommon for people to be able to answer, like, what their favorite game ever is, or, you know, what they, like, their go-to is, especially when they played a lot of games, right? Uh, nowadays, I like multiplayer games where I can hang out with friends, mainly horror, so I could scream with them and <laughs> scare the shit out of them. That sounds fun. Um, for single-player games, I'll say Ori and the Blind Forest, top-tier games. I still need to play Ori. I've heard it's very, very good. Um, Blind Forest, plus there was a sequel, right? Uh, the Will of the Wisps or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I really want to get around to that. 100%. Is Ori kind of like a Metroidvania? Like, do I have the genre correct? Like, where it's like, there are platforms, you go through them, and then you kind of like, circle around and go back to previous areas to unlock doors that you couldn't, couldn't open before? Or is it a little bit different from that? I remember really just seeing the art style and, and being enamored by that, but I didn't see a whole lot of gameplay. That is what it is? Okay, shit. I, I really gotta play or Ori then, because I love Metroidvanias, man. Uh, yeah, Metroidvanias and, um, roguelikes? Probably some of my favorite genres, for sure. Right, like, obviously everyone, everyone knows, right? Hollow Knight is peak. I, I played that for the first time two years ago on stream. Uh, some of the most fun I've ever had with a game. Uh, it was, it was really, really hard taking on some of those challenges, but it was so satisfying. Um, yeah, there's so many good Metroidvanias. A Risk of Rain, I've, I've heard good things about. That's more of a multiplayer one, though, right? Multiplayer games have a little bit of difficulty 
getting into. I'm more, I'm more of a single player dude, but... Oh, you can do single player. Okay. That's good to hear. I'm gonna have to look in it then. Looks kind of cool. For me though, like, the best roguelike ever is probably Hades. I think Hades is peak. Still haven't played the beta to uh, the second one. Uh, because I'm just waiting for the full release. Hades is fun. It really is. I was, I was blown away how good it was. Hollow Knight is goaded? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm right there with you on that. Hollow Knight is amazing. Uh, looking forward to the sequel. I think after I finished it two years ago, I was... <laughs> um, I reviewed it in a really positive light for YouTube. I was like, yeah, this game, absolutely freaking incredible. And then two weeks later, I was like, I have no hype for Hollow Knight. <laughs> Hollow Knight 2 or whatever. Um, no, the, the, the one with... Um, what's it going to be called? Silk Song? Uh... But I do take that back. That was only because I was so burned out of Hollow Knight that I was like, I never want to see it again. But no, now enough time has passed and I'm like, I cannot wait. That was so good. Uh, if you want another fun Metroidvania that is single player and kind of roguelike. Ooh. Rogue Legacy 2. Interesting. I don't think I've heard of that one. Rogue Legacy 2. I have to look into that. Listen to me, Sephiroth, in case something happens. Trust me. I'll be alright, Dad. I'm Tifa. Nice to meet you. Tifa, you're the guide? That's right. No one knows the mountain better than I do. It's too dangerous. Can't, you get, can't get you involved in this. Now, how's everything otherwise, Mobile? Do you still play a lot of... Um, I, I forget. Did you find Toosie through, through Core Keeper? Like a lot of other folks? I'm assuming you did, right? You're still on a lot of core keeper. No problem if you protect her. Let's a go. Uh, Mr. Sephiroth, please let me take a picture. For a memento. <laughs> Found him through the speedrunning vid. Nice, nice, nice. That was a good one. speedrunning uh how to level up running yeah, yeah, yeah i remember that yeah, dude, it's, it's crazy how like it, man so tuzi and i've been friends for like a long ass time like since like 2018 uh because we went to like uh we went to college together and it's crazy dude how he's able to like just come up with ideas on the spot and they're already so like incredibly fleshed out he's able to like envision the whole thing Normally when people envision ideas and they're like, okay, I'm going to make something out of this, make like a video out of this or something like that. Um, they have like a rough sort of notion of what it's going to be and then they fill in the details as they go. But it's crazy, man. Like earlier today, for example, uh, we were driving back from getting some food. And he was like telling me about how <laughs> if he had time and he, if he was going to stream, because he's got a flight tomorrow, so he doesn't have time to, to do this. Because they're like packing everything, but he's like, unironically, you know how like the Mike Tyson Jake Paul fight is happening? He was like, what I would do is I would stream it. But obviously, you can get in trouble for doing that. But what I would do is I would shit post the hell out of it. I would deep fry the stream, like flip it, and then make make it like super distorted the audio, but then like put a limiter so it's not super loud and just make it look really funny. And um just do like ASMR eating fruit gushers or like popcorn or something while reacting to a chat. Like he has all these like crazy, fun, wacky ideas that he just unironically considers doing. Um, and somehow they turn out even better in the videos. It's it's freaking uncanny, dude. Um, yeah, that dude churns out some great content. Do you need me to teach you how to run? Because I fucking will. <laughs> Great, thank you. It's not so much work, but like the idea, like coming up with the idea itself of it, you normally would never think to do something like that, you know? Because <laughs> normally like when you think of doing something like that, your first thought is, well, I'm not going to fuck around with that. I'm not stupid, right? I don't want to get my channel like taken down by Twitch for, you know, rebroadcasting something I shouldn't. But, you know, he takes like a unique spin on it and he's like, okay, I'm going to do it in a way where I don't get in trouble and it's fun for everyone. And it's just like, you know, whatever. We're just having a good time. 
uh, he can spin things in some really... Like, I think, um, uh, who's the guy who mentioned the whole yoink and, and spin strat? It was like a big YouTuber. Um, I think it was, it was Ludwig, if you're familiar. Um, he made this, like, long video a long time ago, or a stream it was, I think, talking about how to make it as a content creator. And one of his tips was, like, you take something that has been done or can be done fairly easily, and you, like, put your own spin on it, and that's how you make it unique. Um, literally everything Tuzi does is just, like, yoink and spinning stuff. Um, it's really cool. Alright. Let us head up Mount Nipple. I mean, Mount Nebel. <laughs> it's got Tuzi written all over it, literally. The Tuzi writes itself, am I right? Mount Nibel, Mount Nebel. Mount Nipple. Pick your poison. <laughs> Mount Nibble. Yeah, <laughs> don't take a bite out of it. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. There's a lovely dude in our community who is a... as I like to call him, a pundit or a wordmaster because of all the amazing wordplay he comes up with in the spot. He would be proud of you. <laughs> um... It tastes like ash. <laughs> or ash. That's precisely what it tastes like. Oh god. The Lego people are falling off the bridge. Rip bridge. Rip Lego people. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pun. We'd make a great team. Well, you, you just might manifest that. Your wish might come true, depending on whether he's in, in chat or not. <laughs> the man, the myth, the ingenious. Uh, we've fallen quite far. We'll be able to get back. Him and his puns. Dude, there's no end to them. It's like, you, you guys would be two peas in a pod in the pun department. It's crazy how many, like, folks who love puns I end up attracting in this community. It's pretty damn great. <laughs> These caves are intertwined like an ant farm. We can probably get back. Oh, but Sephiroth, one person seems to be missing. <laughs> Me and my memes, him and his puns, the best combo. The wombo combo. Uh, is that so? No time to search for him. Let us continue on. F in the chat for random, uh, faceless grunt trooper man. He had a more dramatic send off and rebirth and this he kind of just felt like a like a bitch from the bridge sad face what is this holy shit you found him in the chat you found him hiding in the chat ian watch out <laughs> uh it must be the mako energy this mountain is especially abundant in it that's why the mako reactor was built here all right. Yeah, we were um, we were playing Overwatch the other day, and it's hilarious because so Ingenious loves puns, and there's another dude named Pickle who despises them, but like in a you know, it, it it's like in a humorous way, right? Uh, he, he like he loves to hate him, if you will, and it's all part of like the fun. And that was all part of the fun and the puns. So we were we were streaming Overwatch. Pickle was watching. I was, I was playing a bit with Ingenious, and Ingenious and this other dude, Clinical, were just like nonstop back to back trick shotting all of these. Like it was the equivalent of like back to back collateral quick like, trick shotting, sniping, getting headshots in like a COD lobby, doing the equivalent of like doing that version of you know puns basically. They were coming with puns every two seconds. And it was driving P uh, Pickle insane, dude. I was laughing my head, my ass off. <laughs> so yeah, all of this is to say, if you like puns, you like memes, and you like uh, a good cup of tea, I love my cup of teas, uh, you are in the correct community, uh, Momo. <laughs> you did it, Momo! The summoning circle worked! Ian, we summoned you. You have, um, 
I think he, may, he, he can potentially make a new friend here in the chat. From uh, Tuzi's community here, we got Momo. He's a fellow pundit and a memester. I'm talking about how, like, this community just attracts the greatest of uh, the greatest of pundits and pundit minds from across the globe. But I forget if, like, oh yeah, sure, the flashback, we can't get no items. There you go, Momo. There you go. I wasn't kidding. I did. I did his uh, pun prowess justice. I don't know if he caught that pun there, Momo. <laughs> yeah, if you like puns, dude, you're basically... Momo, you are talking to a pun generator at the moment. What is this? A Mako fountain. It is a miracle of nature. It's so beautiful. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The reactor continues to suck up the energy. Then this fountain will dry up too? <laughs> He's saying he's pungent. Yes, in, in, in the punny sense. In the funny punny sense. Absolutely. Not in, not in the other sense. That would be rude. And I'm sure it's untrue. It's very rare to see a materia that has developed naturally. By the way, why is it that when you use materia, you can use Magica? <laughs> Spoken like a true gamer. As a gamer should be. Knowledge and wisdom of the ancient is held in the materia. Harness the materia, and you can use their powers for yourself. Latent physical abilities, even magic. Magic. A mysterious power. <laughs> this is something funny. A man once told me never to use terms like mysterious power. It should even be called magic. That's right, chat. Don't use the words mysterious and power. Otherwise, that's an insta ban. I'm totally not joking. I still remember how angry he was. Who was that? Professor Hojo of Shinra. Inc. An experienced man assigned to make uh, to take over the work of great scientists. I really hope those links show up for y'all. Yeah, I was wondering what those uh, stars were. I'm sorry, Momo. I think I have links disabled in chat. I actually do not have links enabled for uh, the Twitch chat. But yeah, normally for like stuff like that, um, you can throw, I have like a little channel in my Discord if you want to throw in links and stuff because you know, sometimes weird folks show up and start dropping weird links and everything. So um, if you don't mind, if you would like to throw in some of the some of those links, I have a stream chat channel in Discord, and you can uh, yeah go make yourself home there. I have to toss them in there. I will have a look. Mako fountain. So this is what material looks like. It has been a minute since I got these weird ass bots from back in the day, dude. They were so fucking annoying. It would just like continually spam my chat with all this like nonsense. Like just, there was no end to it. There's so many links and all that kind of garbage that, you know, you don't want to see. Um, I haven't gotten those in a while, so I might consider re-enabling that because in the past like at least one and a half to two years I got nothing but wholesome shit linked in the chat. So, I mean, here's hoping that continues. Or rather people trying to link wholesome stuff in the chat. I'm actually curious what those are. Hang on, let me see. <laughs> I love it. Memes. Ian, you gotta... If you have a second... <laughs> you gotta go into the stream chat channel in the Discord. There's some presents for you. <laughs> love it. Uh, the best one I ever got kept asking me if I was earning and I wanted to earn, and I was like, earn what? I do not know what I'm earning. <laughs> like, some of them are so weird, dude. 
I swear to God, like the best decision that I ever made for my Twitch chat was implementing something called SeriBot. There's a lovely dude who created a bot um, that you can put into your chat, which essentially auto bans all the the weird like graphic designer bots and all those like dudes trying to like solicit and just get shit from you. Um, and it has never been nicer streaming, I swear. Tifa, you wait here. Lol, I need that. You need Sari? Wait, Momo, do you stream as well? Are you also a streamer? Shit, I'll drop you a follow, dude. I got you. Shout out Momo. A fellow pundit? Of course I'm I'm following you, man. Yeah, I just uh I just checked out your channel. Used to stream like four years ago. I got back into it this week. Hell yeah! Yeah, to check you out sometime. Do you uh do you have a schedule? Or like these usually go live? Going inside too, I wanna see. Oh, you're streaming about two hours ago. Yeah, I think I saw like a VOD there. I just got a quick glimpse of your channel, but I'll check it out more after the stream for sure. Typically when you get home from work, awesome. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop in, man. Take care of the lady, he says. Very important. Take care of the lady. Take away for the for the stream tonight. Don't be not taking care of the ladies, folks. You better take real good care of them. Very important. Uh, 5.30 Eastern. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's been nice, man. I have, um... With my, with my new job on stream, one of my favorite things to do as of late has been just, like, at the same time as working, because I get to work from home, um... I have like one monitor on the side where I just like, cause I, I subscribed to Twitch Turbo. I got this like free month. Um, just like reaching out to new streamer, like other streamers, trying to make new friends, watching streams, people who like are kind of similar, people who play like the same games and everything or games I've played and uh, doing my work on my other monitor at the same time. It's been real nice. I've just generally been spending more time in other people's streams. Um, and that's something I've not done in a few years, so uh, it's been nice getting back into the swing of that. Because I used to do a lot of raiding and stuff, and might even do one tonight too after a minute, because I've not done a raid in, like, years. And we're not streaming for, for too long tonight, so I won't be too zapped by the end. Love to end it off with a raid. Uh, the store, the plot says Genova. It's not important, come on. Yeah, work to do. It's real nice to raid people, man. The only reason I don't do it as much anymore is because I stream during, like, graveyard goblin hours all the way to, like, <laughs> 4 or 5 in the morning. So, it's like I'm so zapped by the end of it. And the other thing is, if I'm tired and I'm, like, raiding them, I, I don't want to, like, raid if I'm not going to be able to spend a whole lot of time in their chat. Like, I don't want to raid and then just dip, you know, because I'm too tired. It just it doesn't feel right, so... I don't do it as much anymore, but yeah, tonight we're not going to be going too long, so I got to be up early. So, uh, they generally try to raid you back afterwards, and you get more viewers too. And uh, raid to overseas channels, yeah, like just generally, you know, overseas wherever. Um, typically like raiding other other small streamer friends I make, just trying to like you know spread the love, that kind of thing. It's been real nice. Uh, close the valve, Kuraudo. It's time for the Nippelheim incident. But why did it break? <laughs> I like how in the OG, Sephiroth has to, like, jump up to look inside. Now I see, Hojo. But doing this will never put you on the same level as Ghast. This is a system that condenses and freezes Mako. That is, when it's working correctly. Now, what does Mako energy become when it's condensed like this? Uh, uh, yeah, oh yeah, it becomes materia. That's correct. But, Hojo is using these pods to make something else. Take a gander. Look through the window. Oh, that's cool. 
Um, for the new threat mod, they changed the music a little here when you see the monster inside. What is that thing? Members of Soldier are made by showering them with Mako. We're different, but still human. The only physical mutation that occurs seems to be in the eyes. As for them, they've been exposed to a far higher degree of Mako than us. Is this some kind of monster? Yes, but Mako alone couldn't have produced these monsters. Whatever Hojo has done here has allowed these people to survive prolonged exposure to Mako. He likely intended to create more powerful members of Soldier, but these things were the result. But you're stronger than all of us. Does that mean you're different? You are different. Ba -ba -ba. Hey, Sephiroth! That block up there, it has my mother's name. Was I... Was I created this way too? This scene was so fucking good in Rebirth, man. Especially the lighting of this level. Like here it's largely red, but in, in Rebirth it's this like haunting dark green uh, moss type color. Like dark green, dark blue. It's like a melding of those two. Ever since I was small, I felt that I was different, special in some way. But not like this. Shit gave me chills, man. Um, especially the, the atmospheric sounds and, like, the music. It was just directed so well, this part. Like, Sephiroth's descent into madness. That's right, I forgot to mention, because um, I was talking about Final Fantasy earlier, since you never played it, if you'd ever be interested in playing it. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend playing uh, the remake to 7, because this game got a remake. Maybe you heard about it. Um, and they're like remaking it in like three parts and the first two parts are out. So that, that's probably the best way to get into Final Fantasy, I would say. Uh, as of like, you know, these days. Because, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Rebirth is pretty much peak Final Fantasy. Like, it's probably the best modern Final Fantasy game that's been made. I, I think it's where they learned... Um, how to essentially make a really good, effective open world Final Fantasy where they learn from all the like previous 10 to 20 years of them trying to do, you know, uh, post 90s era Final Fantasy games in like the 3D space. So it's a really nice way to kind of ease in now into the series. So, uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to add that since I forgot to mention it earlier. Um, that's probably a nice way to kind of ease your way into. Uh, the series. <laughs> Don't look in the stream chat. Now, I gotta look in the stream chat since I'm not ingenious. <laughs> what are all these images? Cursed images? Just kidding, they're cool. <laughs> You're telling me Cloud isn't... Dude, I love this. You're just like making memes out of every moment in the stream, dude. I love how... Ian, or Ingenious, is like a pun generator. And Momo, you're like a meme generator, man. I think that's literally what you said earlier. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's <laughs> saying silent pun. <laughs> Elmo one is wild. Damn, Shinner, the more I hear, the more I hate him. Who would have thought a Mako reactor could hold a secret like that? That would explain the increase in the number of monsters recently. I think we should listen carefully. Carefully and quietly. Don't you think so, Barrett? Uh, save game and rest. Let's take a breather. I'll take a look. I'll, yeah, only if you're interested in, in giving Final Fantasy a shot. I would 100% say that... Uh, for like modern audiences who never really uh, got into the series if you don't want to like play you know like start with the older games then either the the remake series to Final Fantasy 7 or the um, like they've remastered a good bit of the old ones too like there's a pixel remaster series that's also a, a good way to kind of segue into it Tifa were you still outside yes I was we return to Nibelheim. Sephiroth confined himself to the inn. He wouldn't talk to anyone. 
Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared, right? We found him inside the biggest building in Nibelheim. The villagers used to call it Shinra Mansion. A long time ago, it was used as some kind of research outpost. <laughs> I love how, like, all the memes you're posting, like, the templates are, like, old-school ones. But like, it's, just, it's just still getting a laugh out of me. And here I was thinking that wouldn't even be possible in, in the year 2024, but here we are. All right, here we go. So this is worth talking about. The one tiny segment of Raybert's Nibelheim incident that I actually prefer the original game's approach to here. I think this was done far more effectively in the original than in Rebirth. As much as I did like a lot of aspects of it in Rebirth, ultimately, um, the thing that kind of threw me off guard was the fact that they excluded the entirety of this upper portion, which I'm not sure why they made. It's, it's a, it was a weird creative decision in Rebirth to do that. Um, in Rebirth, you can't go up here. You can't go to the second floor. You can't explore all these rooms, like the one with the safe here. It's like a little grow room or whatever this is. Um, and then this room off to the side, which is where you do go down into the lab in order to uh, witness Sephiroth in the library and everything. And this whole portion of Zack following Cloud, or rather, if you want to, you know, go by the chronology, like, Cloud following the little grunt uh, to this little room, and then going into this chamber with a spiral staircase was completely cut, which I don't know why they did that. This, this is so good, especially later on, when you come back here and go down in the second half of the flashback to witness Sephiroth's descent into villainy, it hits so much harder because it literally feels symbolic, right? It feels metaphorical if you're just being dragged down this spiral of, of madness, essentially. And so it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way when in Rebirth, they got rid of that and just replaced it for an elevator on the first floor. Um, so I was really looking forward to this aspect of, of Rebirth. And even on, upon the return to Nibelheim itself in the uh, in, in, in the modern day in Rebirth, uh, like the, the concept of the town is, has changed, was changed from it being this spot where there were a bunch of paid actors, which was really eerie, who rebuilt the town after Sephiroth destroyed it, uh, to it's just like a place for the cloaked guys to like recover and to be, you know, for them to be taken care of. Um, I don't know, that didn't... Like, it's not bad objectively, but it, it wasn't something that I was a huge fan of personally. Um, and especially when you have to go through Shinra Manor upon the revisit to Nibelheim in the mon present day. And you have to play as Kate Sith and throw all the boxes and do all this stuff underground. It was... yeah. It wasn't amazing. Um, but it's unfortunate because it's one of the parts I was looking forward to the most. But yeah, a lot of it was amazing though. It was very good. Like when you meet Vincent... Uh, fight Vincent was fucking amazing, like phenomenal. All of that, the music, all that kind of jazz. But just the structure of the manor and the level design and a lot of the subtle kind of, you know, the subtext. Like the stuff it represents and everything just being cut out was, eh, I don't know. If you want to revisit the OG, let's go. Yeah, it's been really interesting going through it. It's, it's, it's been like playing a demake of uh, Final Fantasy 7 in a way since we played Rebirth this past year, right? And now we're going back to the original. I've been meaning to mention this and it feels timely. Remember when you were in this portion way back when and I was like, oh, this is like the Spencer Mansion. Do you get that vibe now that you tried RE1? It's funny you mention that because I was literally thinking that when I was just now running around the second floor of the mansion. Uh, I was like, yeah, dang, it actually weirdly reminds me of you want a little bit, especially the way you go up the stairs to the second floor and just the layout of it and everything. Kind of neat that we played that not long ago and yeah, we're now going back into this, which has a similar spooky doopy haunted mansion. That's when it hit me too. Awesome. Also, Ian, I don't know if you heard about the RE9 leaks, which allegedly are very reputable. And likely to happen, like the the recent ones that um, that came out. 
because they've been consistent with past leaks. And I won't say anything if you haven't seen them and, and want to go into it blind, which is completely understandable. But all I will say is, dang, it, those leaks have me kind of hyped for Resident Evil 9, which apparently is like going to be announced. It's, it's like right around the corner. An organism assumed dead was extracted from the dig site and is believed to be 2,000 years old. Professor Gast posited that the organism was an ancient and named the Cadaver Genova. Uh, yo, Trax, what's up, man? Uh, RE9 leaks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are they the open world ones? No, I think those are... I actually had not heard about those ones. Uh, Pickle told me about those when I was playing RE1. Literally the next day after I started RE1, I think it was the next day, uh, a couple of new, new leaks came out, which were consistent with a couple of other ones from the past regarding, like, the main characters and stuff. And, um way more details about what the plot is like what the premise is rather um and where the characters are and what they're essentially trying to do and that kind of has like the sound of it kind of has me excited i tune in and i hear re9 leaks let's go uh re9 leaks yeah momo are you with re9 or just re in general sorry X year, X month, X day, classified. Autopsy confirms the presence of unknown chromosomes in the organism's cellular DNA. Oh, you don't know what Ari is, I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, Ari is Resident Evil, the horror series. Uh, Genoa Project approved. The aim of the experiment was to recreate the powers of the ancients. Yeah, Resident Evil. Became a fan like two years ago, I would say. I, I started with seven and then eight, and then played some of the older ones too, and yeah, it's an absolute blast. <laughs> I needed that for the memes, let's go. I love it, dude, we're building up this community, we got these, like, pundits, we got the dudes with the puns, like, you know, Ian and, um, Ian and Brent, and now we have Momo here with the, with the memes. Got, like, the dream squad, the dream team. Uh, don't usually keep up with them but uh somehow all the algorithms try to push them to me and every time they do yeah same that's exactly the same scenario that i'm in where i don't actively seek them out but i just like see them pop up on my feed and uh you bet your ass i'm, I'm reading through them personally <laughs> okay capcom here's how you get me third person re9 leon let me stare at that ass lamal <laughs> based based tracks he'd love to see it um, and then you get the perv in me. <laughs> yeah, I'd be happy to talk about what they are. If you guys w w would like me to. If you if you guys want to go in blind, if someone's not comfortable with that, 100% understand. Uh, but yeah, just seeing them and knowing what I like in RE has me very, very excited for the game, assuming that they actually end up happening because they're leaks, right? But they very likely will. Considering, from what I understand, the leaker himself and how reputable he's been in the past and how they line up with shit that got leaked before. So it's very likely that this stuff is actually going to end up being in the game. Uh, my mother's name is Genova. The Genova Project. Is this just a coincidence? Professor Gast, why didn't you tell me anything? Why did you die? Why, Professor? Why? Why? Also, tracks. Did you see Max's clip? I, dude, I fucking lost it. I'm, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. The one where he was playing through. He's playing through this game again on the PS5 Pro, right? And he set up a bunch of like stools and chairs and tables and stuff around here. Like he knocked them all around just to see what it would look like when Sephiroth flings Cloud across the room. And he actually like flew through all that shit. And then one of his editors like put in a sound. That was one of the funniest things I've seen. Uh, my palms are sweating, but go for it. I get anxiety every time they have a new project. Okay, 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 okay. To sweat out, yeah, dude. Or Blue Sky, because I think Max is on there now, too. Um, okay, so. Basically, the things that have me really hyped. They're two, they're going to be two characters. Uh, it's one of those ones where you can choose between one or the other. Either Leon or Jill. So, Jill is coming back. Which I'm excited for because I literally, if that's actually going to happen, it would have been really cool that I just played Resident Evil 1. 
Um, that timing would have been great because now I'm familiar with Jill. I played as her before. That's awesome. So I got to be a little more excited. It's kind of apt that I played Resident Evil 1 when I did. Um, and fucking Leon, man. Leon is the man. Like, he's my favorite character. Uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake is my favorite one. And it's set, I think, four years after Resident Evil 8. So even though Ethan's story is finished, the story of like the Mega Mycete or the Muta Mycete or whatever it was called isn't actually over that's still there and they go to this island where they have to like basically end the scourge of this virus once and for all um that sounds really interesting like this i, I forget where they said the island is gonna like like where it's actually set all that kind of stuff um but the enemies are essentially a lot like the ganados and the combat is supposed to be a lot like resident evil 4. so yeah, I'm really hyped, and it's meant to be wide-ish linear, which is fuck, dude. If you guys have, like, heard me talk about what I think of open world and, like, linear games these days, you will know that's music to my ears, because wide linear is my my cup of tea um, in this day and age, man. I, I'm all for, like, open world games and that kind of thing, but the more I've gamed, the older I've gotten, the more I've just started to appreciate the more, like, linear experiences, so I don't think it... It's going to be fully open world. It's like why linear? You choose between Leon and Jill. You go through an island where enemies are very similar to the, the way they are in RE4. And I liked RE7 and 8. And the story of Ethan and um, the Mega My Seed or like whatever the, the mold, right? That That's what it was from the Mega My Seed that was causing all the problems. And so it's really cool. They got like these cool ass iconic characters from RE we now have to interface with all of that stuff and like end it once and for all so and i and i understand that for a lot of like og fans jill and leon uh like sharing a game together and just being together in some way is a huge deal because that's basically happened only like one time in all like 20 years of resident evil existing so so many reasons to be excited man i, I really hope there's a lot of veracity to to these the claims and the leaks and stuff uh but yeah i just it's it's fun to talk about and and just yeah pick that apart because shit i love resident evil man and i'm really hyped i've been especially since like for remake and seeing capcom being at like cap god status and just liking the series the more games i play um yeah it's gonna be really exciting uh i should say say we're staring at a leon base re4 wait did i say re4 rebirth <laughs> my bad re4 remake um re4 rebirth leon sounds like a vibe though shit uh jill coming back has been something people have clamored for for a very long time yeah i have heard that and just like leon and jill being playable in a game together right because typically from what i know it's like jill and jill and chris right kind of like an re1 uh but never like leon never really kind of shares a game uh with them or especially jill oh i gotcha i gotcha i was inferring you said wide linear my brain went combined uh to my favorite things yes dude um wide linear more like re4 uh remake i would say kind of like my go-to example is when you're on the lake and it's like this giant circular area where you can like boat around, go to tiny like strips of land, collect different things like chicken eggs and secrets and that kind of stuff. I love that personally, dude. Just give me like little slices of, you know, exploration that I can do off the beaten path, off the main path. And then, you know, put me back in coach. Like we'll continue the the stroll through, you know, the linear path towards the credits. Like I, I'm, I'm starting to really like that uh, formula of gameplay. That's why I really love, um, as much as I loved Elden Ring, I would love to see From Software go back to their older style of, of games, like the Soulsborne games, for example. Um, just linear with a little, like, you know, levels that are a little wide. More like 16. Um, 16 is a little more open than that, I would say. It's like, it's, it's more of an open zoned game, right? I wouldn't say it's like 16's wide linear. I'd say it's kind of in between wide linear and open world. Um, cause it's still got those like big open zones you can go through. Wide linear is kind of like, it's a straight line and then like there's a little circle and you're there and then it's like a straight line again. 
Um, and that's like the whole game. You know, there's no like traveling between areas. Well, well there could be kind of like Soulsborne. Um, but like, I, I guess you get what I'm trying to say. Game, Game Wars is going to be late. I was talking to Hippie the other day and I was like, dude, you got to manifest. Uh, we were talking about the Game Awards and our predictions and stuff. Uh, and I was like, dude, please, like, we got to get uh, Resident Evil 9. It's now or never because typically Capcom releases a new Resident Evil every two years, right? So judging by that pattern, assuming that's what they're doing, like, we're slated for, we're due for another game, like, you know, early next year at some point. I th And usually from what I know, when they announce a new RE game, it's less than like a year after the announcement that we end up getting it, right? They typically announce their games close to when they're coming out, which is what I really like. Um, super cool that they do that, so... I'm hoping that they do the same thing with RE9 here. RE8, well, yeah. RE8, I remember, was 2021. And RE4 remake was two, exactly two years after that. Right, like March-ish of 2023. Um, and I forget when it was announced. I remember we all checked it out together. Uh, like, I, I did a reaction stream. I think it was like the State of Play or something where they revealed RE4 remake. Um, that's before I'd even played OG RE4. It was like November or something like that. Early to mid-2025. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I think it will be something like, announce it at the Game Awards, and then, you know, March to May of 2025 somewhere. Maybe not March, that's too early. But like, yeah, like summer-ish of, of 2025. Um, I wouldn't mind if it shakes out to be only Jill. Chris and Leon at the risk of blaspheming myself <laughs> a disproportionate amount of the shine. Yeah, I wouldn't mind either. And I think that would be, you know, because I've played a whole bunch of Leon in 4 and my favorite character and all that, but I wouldn't mind if he took the back seat for a bit and we got uh, Jill, especially since I just played her in RE1, right? That would be super cool. Won't bother me so much if he didn't have a roster of Claire, Rebecca, Shiva and Jill, who are just perpetually benched. Yeah, and that, those are like a lot of other characters too who haven't been around in a bit, right? Like, you know, I think Shiva was an RE5 character? I'm trying to remember who Shiva was. I, haven't, I think she's RE5, right? If I'm not mistaken. I like Claire a lot from RE2. Um, let's see if I miss anything else. Oh, true, dude. Momo will put some more memes in the stream chat. The man, the myth, the meme god. Gotta appreciate it. <laughs> dude, Momo, Momo hopping into the stream has been one of the best parts of my day today. And into the Discord as well. Keeping my Discord alive. You're doing the, the Lord's work here, sir. My good sir. Um, the whole of Death Island is pretty much about Jill, so that feels telling to segue her back in. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie, but I kind of I vaguely know the premise of it. So it's especially like I think from a from a business standpoint as well, it would be a really good decision to kind of have an, a Resident Evil game that combines the best of like. The, th the, two, the th two things that are really popular right now, right? So Death Island, um, like aspects of that because of Jill, like the parts that people liked about that movie a lot. And then the parts of, you know, the games that people liked a lot, which obviously were um, the aspects of Resident Evil 4 Remake, which recently just came out. That game was a huge hit. So they would obviously want to incorporate as many aspects from the stuff people liked the most. So it wouldn't surprise me in the, the slightest if, yeah, Leon's back. Um, enemies play out, you know, and feel exactly the same or very similar um, to fight as they were in uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake. And if Jill has anything to do with it. So the, uh, the leaks kind of track. The leaks are, you know, very plausible. Very, very plausible. And a lot of people who usually, like, they're like leak no-lifers. All they do is spend their time reading leaks. If they, if they think this shit is going to happen, and for once they're not like, oh, it's just rumors, or throw that shit in the trash, which is like what happens nine times out of ten, shit, you know, I'll take their word for it. 
I'm gonna believe in him too. Let me be alone. Now that's gonna be that's gonna make me if some of these leaks don't come true. If at least like you know, two out of three of them don't come true or something, that's gonna be me. It doesn't even have to be all of them. Just some of them not coming true because a lot of them sound really cool. I'm gonna be like Sephiroth here, I'm like why, why? Yeah, man, I would... I'm not sure if I have any... Oh, bro, what am I saying? Yeah, Death Stranding 2 is my most anticipated game of 2025. Besides that, though, assuming RE9 is coming out next year, it'll probably be that. You know, Death Stranding 2 and RE9. So cool how I got, I got Rebirth in 2024 and Death Stranding 2 in 2025. My two favorite games uh, two years back to back. What a time to be alive. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> I keep... I got ahead of myself. But yeah, once again... Trax, I'm curious, by the way, what you thought. I was talking about this a little bit earlier on the stream. About the way Rebirth approached the mansion. I, I much prefer the original in a way. Like, with the whole upstairs portion still being a thing. And going through that whole, you know, like, spiral staircase segment. Um, I was a little bit bummed that they got rid of that in Rebirth. Just replace it with like a little elevator. Everything else was peak though, like absolute Kino. Um, at the moment for me, it's still replaced in Expedition 33. I think I've heard it replaced, yeah. I have to look into those more though. I haven't heard of Expedition 33. Very cool. What are those about? Um... Running out of time to use these main characters are approaching our, our retirement. I love that retirement village age. Yeah, especially like it hurt my brain to think about how in that Claire DLC or not Claire, sorry, the Rose DLC in uh, Resident Evil 8, she's like, what, 16? And if you do the math, that will make like pretty boy Leon like flipping 62 or some shit, right? <laughs> and that just makes me sad to think about like, no, thanks. Let's not be in that. Let's not go that far in the future, please. Let's not let RE8's DLC be where, you know, the timeline continues from in the next mainline games. No, thanks. Uh. Speaking of Pretty Boy Leon, uh, that's another thing. Uh, they didn't mention in the leaks that Leon looks a little older and more rugged. Like he has a bit of facial hair and his hair is graying a little or something. And apparently Jill doesn't look different at all, which apparently is a big beam in the community as well, how she just doesn't age. <laughs> Daddy Leon? Question mark? Yeah, you guys are getting Daddy Leon. Allegedly. If the leakers are to be trusted. Um... You need to watch the Expedition 33 trailer right now. Dang. Is that hype? I'm gonna have to watch that. After this stream, for sure. Alright. Sorry, Safi. I'm sorry you're upset. I'll get you Snickers. This planet originally belonged to the Cetra, to the Citrus. They were an itinerant race that would migrate across the land to tend to any injuries that threatened the planet. And they believed that at the end of their long journey would be the Promised Land. A place where they could become one with the planet and find supreme happiness. But some grew tired of the journey. They stopped to build shelters for themselves to lead an easier life. Over time, they lost their connection to the planet, and now use the land for their own selfish purposes. Uh, oh yeah, they tried to hand wave that because she has an infection. Oh! They're like, okay, we've got, uh, we've only got RE3 remake Jill model. The T-viruses have Botox. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yo, disaster struck this planet. She, yeah, she has, um, insert whatever, whatever condition this beautiful ass celebrities have that don't make them age here. Like, uh, Keanu Reeves syndrome. <laughs> but the Cetra sacrificed themselves to save the planet from calamity. And so the Cetra were lost, leaving your ancestors free to prosper and multiply. Weren't they your ancestors too? The Cetra were wiped out, then. Cetra finally returned. Um, Expedition 33 is basically a Unreal Engine 5 persona. Oh, no way. 
Uh, that looks like Wukong. Holy shit, that is a hell of a way to describe a game and, and try to sell it to a guy. Yeah, that actually sounds lit. Um, does I never play the Persona games, but I've seen a lot of gameplay of Metaphor and the third one. Um, they look really cool, and I definitely gotta change the fact that I haven't played them. Um, and of course, Wukong, man. Wukong was a blast, so... Okay, this is this is, this has got me peaked, man. They began the Genova Project. Well, the project was to infuse the mythical powers of the Cetra into a human being. And they succeeded. I am one of the Cetra. You're an ancient! Okay, so interesting. I was trying to put my finger on whether or not they redid the script in, um, in New Thread for the flashback, considering they didn't change anything else. They have, because I very clearly remember Sephiroth saying the line, I am what was created, and that's not here. So I, I'm pretty sure the script is different. Um, through the Genova Project, the scientist Professor Gast was able to create me. How the hell did he do that? Sephiroth? Out of my way. I'm going to see my mother. <sighs> Fuck, so good. The way the music stops for a second and cuts back in with it swelling the way it is. Holy shit, like... Rebirth is a damn masterpiece, but nothing will ever top this one moment here in, in gaming history. I swear to god. I, I still get chills, man. Play this part like a million times. I'm just vibing. I'm not like totally wired in, obviously. But still, never fails to give me chills. Is anyone there? Hey, yo! Uh, you're still sane, right? Come over here and help me the hell out! Wait a minute! And Rebirth. Do you see Zongon helping the locals? I forget. I'm sorry, deadass, I forget. I'll check this house. You check the other one over there. All I remember is limping through the flames as Cloud. And then coming over here to Cloud. Seven hours. Oh, ho, ho. These textures look so nice in the with this mod. Sephiroth, this is too terrible. Too terrible. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I'm sorry, little townsperson. Or Tifa's dead. Like how you can see their faces more clearly now. They're kind of adorable. Oh, I should have tried out the um, cutscene overhaul mod for this. Would have been cool to see the flames, uh, iconic flames moment. You now being redone, redone with the mod. God, it feels so nice in 60 FPS. All right, here we go. Time to see Tifa sad and then be sad. Papa. Sephiroth? Did Sephiroth do this? Times two? Sephiroth, soldier, mock reactors, Shinra. I hate you all. Dude, her voice actress did such a good job here in, uh, in Rebirth. I didn't remake two just for this small little snippet of the scene we see in that one. Very, very well done. Everyone killed it. Uh, Mother, I'm here to see you. Please open this door. Knock, knock. Who's there? Your son. How could you do that to Papa and the townspeople? Koi Ching. Uh, Alright, man, I'm gonna head off. Yo, Momo, take them. Good care, man. Thank you so much for dropping in. I appreciate you being here a lot. Um, another big shout-out to you. Another big shout-out to Momo. Definitely go check him out. I'll check out your streams. Uh, catch you on the flip-flop. And thank you very much for uh, dropping the stream chat channel. Ola Entertainment, man. 
keeping my server alive. Gotta, gotta appreciate that. Like I said, got the dream squad here. We got all these folks with the puns and now we're getting, we're starting to get these like meme folks too. Love to see it. Ain't sad, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'll talk to you later, dude. Take damn good care. Keep on keeping on. And thank you so much for the follow earlier as well. Uh, you promised. You promised you'd come when I was in trouble. <gasps> Don't tell two. You haven't followed Tuzi yet? <sighs> Good thing you confided in me, Momo. Your secret is safe with me. Chose the right person to confide in. <laughs> Your secret is safe. Totally. 100%. Trust me, bro. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Have a good one. Your secret's totally safe in me. I totally will not tell Tuzi. Totally. Nope. No way, Jose. Uh, you promised. You You're promised you'd come. Goddamn right. Exactly. Best believe it. <laughs> boop, boop. Doop, doop. Oh shit, the puppet looks cool. Puppet looks damn cool with the mod. Honestly, just this whole situation of having the game be 16 by 9 full screen seems like witchcraft to me, man. Like, how is this? I think they mentioned that the dude used AI a little bit, but it's like, for me personally at least, you can't even tell. It's just so seamless the way that this full screen mod is working at the moment. I have a plan. We'll go to the promised land. Severos! My family! My hometown! How could you do this to them? I will slowly bring my arms back down to my side and laugh. <laughs> See, follow me here. With her superior power, knowledge, and magic, Mama was destined to become the ruler of this planet. I shall have you know. But then they came. Those inferior dullards. I love his uh, lines in Crisis Core here. The OG Crisis Core. It's actually pretty good writing, all things considered. Dude, Sephiroth's script was goaded. I think OG Crisis Core Sephiroth's script here was like the best version of his his, uh, his monologue or dialogue or whatever. Uh, Max is fighting Mike Tyson tonight, no joke. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna need some context. How did Jake Paul turn into Max? What the hell happened? Did I step into some alternate dimension here after going into Genova's chamber with a new threat mod? <laughs> is my life being new threat modded? Trax? Sephiroth, you killed all those people. How could you do this? That involves a Nintendo. The Switch 2? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, they deserve to die. Is the Switch 2 so powerful that it's able to transform Jake Paul into Maximilian, dude? Shit, that's a day one buy for me. That is our planet. I will reclaim the land that was taken from Mother. Dude, any, any universe where Jake Paul is transformed into Maximilian, dude, is a good universe. Shit, I'll take Max over Jake any day. <laughs> Sephiroth, I trusted you. No, you're not the Sephiroth that I used to know. Mike Tyson's punch out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm too Gen Z. I'm too I'm too young, Trax. It's okay. You can have a you can have a boomer moment. I'm too young. I I, I will not pretend to know that shit. That's a game, right? I'm assuming. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Ain't there more? I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> Hard Edge looks like a damn spatula. It really does. My, my favorite thing, I was talking about this earlier, is how the handle is literally just like clipping through the back of Cloud's noggin. <laughs> what happened to Sephiroth? Didn't you fight him? Um, I don't know. The rest is blank. I was a, <laughs> reminds me of uh, this one podcast the actor Billy Bob Thornton was on. I, I randomly pulled it up the other day with Tuesday. It's fucking funny and cringeworthy. He's just sitting there being all sulky because he doesn't want to be on that podcast. 
And the interviewer asked him a bunch of these questions, and he's like, well, I don't know what you mean by that. I don't, I don't know. Uh, official records state Sephiroth is dead. I read it in the newspaper. Shenner owns the newspapers, so you can't rely on that information. I want to know the damn truth. The hell happened? I challenged Sephiroth and lived. Why didn't he kill me? I'm alive too. A lot of this doesn't make sense. What about Genova? I was in the Shinra building, right? Well, Shinra shipped it from Nibelheim to Midgar. Did someone carry it out later? I was missing from Shinra building. Sephiroth? Damn! Ain't none of this makes sense. I'm going. And I'm gone. I'm leaving the thinking you. There it is, so me. Oh, Cloud. Gotta stop him, right? I don't know. Wait, this has got to be a new option. New threat intensifies. What? What don't you know? Uh, you just gonna stand there while Sephiroth heads for the promised land? I ain't letting Sephiroth or Shinra get to no promised land. I'm gonna keep this planet safe. Ain't nothing more to it than that. Hear what I'm saying? <laughs> beautiful, just beautiful. That it? I'll say beautiful, because Barrett was a goddamn gem of a character in Rebirth. I will indulge him here. Leave it to me. I wonder if those dialogue options are there for, like, a gold saucer bromance option later on with Barrett. A new threat. How, how bad was it when Sephiroth cut me? I thought you were a goner. I was really sad. <laughs> oh, matter of fact, that sounds. Yeah, uh, you, my childhood crush, girl next door, girl of my dreams. I saw you with a huge uh, gash and slash across your chest, and uh, yeah, I was really sad. Pretty sad. Uh, the ancient Setra, Genova, Sephiroth, and myself. It's getting late. Let's get some sleep. What a fascinating story. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is this? What the fuck? Yuffie? God damn. This is cool. This is new. Oh, god damn. Okay. <laughs> this is where she steals her shit? Wake up! There's a thief! What the hell's going on? Bam! Come on! Oh shit! Okay, that's actually dope. <laughs> so you have like nothing now. Or what? No, we do have things. What did she steal again? Cover materia. too dark to give chase out of town unless okay so this is dope they're actually making i didn't even think about this yeah so new threat here is going to make yuffie a mandatory character what too dark to give chase out of town well i'm not trying to go out of town are we supposed to look for her in the end or talk to right here no sign of her did she get away I think I can track her. Just follow me. Oh, true. Okay. Generic Yuffie grassland environment. Whoa! You losers get caught up. Rob the wrong train, fool. Lost time. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit, son. You got the whole squad here fighting her. All right, I'm not disappointed. That's some dope ass shit. <laughs> Cloud just straight went for the death blow. Dear God. Um. Okay, Red's just whipping out the lunatic high. Good man. Uh, 340 gil still. I'm gonna steal your gil. Still your gil. How do you feel about that? Oh shit, she has no. Bullshit, she has nothing to steal. Holy crap, dude. Yuffie's kind of loaded here. Shit. She's kind of strong, man. Already been minified? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Hard edge looks like a spatula and bear's gun arm looks like the pan. What the fuck? And now the pan is a frying pan, apparently. What the sh... I don't know what I saw there, but Aerith got uh, healed by that. Good. Uh, magic from Tifa while she's mini. Minified. Uh, go, go, Geomancer stance. Oh, true. Yeah, Aerith has the different stances, right? Where you, if you defend, she goes into Geo stance. Oh, no, no, yeah, that's, I'm stupid, sorry. That, that is what I did. Um, and she gets healed by the, the elements when she's in that stance. Factual. I think Tifa's one is where she, I forget, Red's, I think, is where he gets stronger over the course of the fight. I remember that right? Um, and Bear shoots everyone. Cloud can do his Punisher mode retaliation mumbo jumbo and hit Yuffie really hard. And I'm gonna hit Tifa really hard, but in, in a nice way. I promise that can make sense. Don't minify Cloud too. Bitch. Okay. You pick with the wrong soldier, little girl. Pick with the wrong soldier. Hey, like, Yuffie's a legit boss right now. Holy crap. Five low potions remaining. What the fuck is that? This last is crazy! E skill. Lazurs! I'm gonna use my lasers. What the? Where did that shit come from? That was an insane amount of healing! Holy crap! Uh, Demi, that's gravity. Wait. Will it work on her? I'm mean, assuming if she, if she has like a lot of. Well, I should do sense first. Hang on. I'll do this. Okay, that's a good idea. <clears throat> she had a lot of HP and uh, she not immune to gravity. Might be a good idea. Oh, she's. Okay, wow. Immune to poison. Okay, I probably should use Seal Evil. My bad. Oh, yeah. Seal Evil would have been so much better here. I, for some reason, thought we were all really low. Stop healing yourself. Why did you steal? What the fuck? I'm so trigger happy when it comes to stealing, man. Come on. I, you, Yuffie and I are not so different, man. Come on. Like, I, I'm giving her so much shit here. But ultimately, we're two sides of the same coin with how much I'm trying to, like, pilfer shit from her. You know? Uh... Erisu. She's gonna keep healing with that. We gotta, like... It said she had like five low potions or something. Is that what she's using? She's gotta wait for her to use all of them. Well, Cloud's got his limit break. That's good. Let's go offensive as Aerith here. Cross slash. Um. She heals like every single turn that we. T okay, zero low potions. Okay, huge. Okay, you are so going down, girl. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Uh, I forgot a mini, and that's not gonna do shit. <laughs> uh, probably should have thought of that. Probably should. Maybe. Maybe sort of should have thought of that. Uh, well, you should have thought about messing with us in the first place, young girl. Oh, that's right. You're not healing shit right now. You're not damaging shit either. Nuh-uh. None of that. None of that out of you. T.O. for you. That's right. Give us all our money back. I'm trying to save the world here, little lass. Man, I can't believe I lost. Can't save the world while we're broke. Spiky-headed jerk. 
Rematch, come on, let's go. Not interested. Are we gonna have the same options now to try and recruit her to our party? Thinking of running away? Stay and fight! Fight, I said! Oh shit, we might. I, I hope not. Let's cut out the middle man, just make her a mandatory member. Come on, what's the matter? Let me guess, you guys are scared of me, huh? Yeah, sure, we're petrified. Okay, nice, it doesn't make you choose. Uh, it's more streamlined. Cool. Just as I thought. What do you expect with my skills? Oh, whatever. I'll let you off this time. Later. I'm really gonna meet leave. I mean it. Go ahead. We got our stuff back. You're giving me a headache. No, you dope. You're supposed to say, wait, don't go. Ah, whatever. You guys are clueless. Can't just leave you like this. I'll last a second out there without me. Guess I have no choice. I'll take you along with me. You gotta be kidding. Come on, let's get out of here. Huh? What? Hey! Hey! Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> well, I still get the achievement for it, even though I'm playing the game in, like, scuff mode right now with the mod. That's great. Uh, Alright. Euphoronies. I'm Yuffie. Get to meet ya. Not likewise. Kind of likewise, though, but not from Cloud's POV. <laughs> not quite how I planned it, but all I gotta do is a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> hey, wait for me, wait for me. Okay, so she's still gonna plan on robbing us, even though she just robbed us. <laughs> A new threat here. Uh, you're coming with us, beat it! I think it matters what you want. I'll follow you anyway. Okay, yeah, true, let's see her innate ability. So, she will counter physical damage with Mug when she's in the front row. That's actually kind of sick. Uh, also, during battle, she will charge an ability called Throwlet. What the hell? Use the defend command to activate and throw one of her shuriken weapons at an enemy. Inventory stock not depleted? Okay, that's actually kind of goaded. Oh shit. So you defend. Um, and she like throws one of the shurikens she's got. The innate abilities are kind of busted in this game. Or in this mod, rather. You love to see it. Okay, um... Damn, that sounds really appealing. So I'm gonna actually get Yuffie in here. Um, let me swap her out for you know for Aerith because we did do. I think we played Aerith last time for the most part uh, on our vanilla playthrough. So we will do Cloud, Tifa, Yuffie. Let's put Yuffie in the front row. I think is what it said for her innate ability. Yeah, so when she gets attacked, she retaliates with Mug. Um, and that kind of thing. She starts with time, exit, throw... Uh, throw? I don't think I've ever been a big fan- well... Hang on. Do we need it for that innate shit? Oh, whoa! Oh, we start with- it is wonderful. We start with Morph. That's like the most- one of the most important things. Um, how do I... I know how to do this on Switch, but how do I organize all my materia here? Get them all, like, nice and, uh... Tight on this list. Arrange? Yeah, there we go. Uh... Restore. I will do this. Restore plus... And then we'll take Aerith's Restore here. That's the good one. Put that there. Combine that with all materia. And revive. Ice. Store. I only two restores. Ew. Ew. Am I a fan of time materia? I don't think I ever end up using it. This is probably the one playthrough I'm going to do of FF7 where I'm not a nut for trying to equip every single materia I have at the same time. I used to do that because I would like I, I would try to get to the point with Bugenhagen where you can give him the master materia, but 
it, it's so easy to just bypass all that shit and just get everything mastered from beating Emerald, so like, who cares, right? <laughs> Um, escape battle. Oh, ew. Ew. Escape battle. Get that shit out of here. You don't need escape. Yeah, let's... Let's put barrier back on. And actually... Right time is good. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ooh, four slots. Yeah, we can get Morph on that. Lit. Um, want to... Uh, want someone to have... Well, what did I want, actually? Hang on. No, we're good. I was trying to do something. I think I'm okay, though. Okay, gang. Oh, it is, it is um, tempting to put Aerith in here, but... Played her so much last time. Let's explore calm. I have heard that in this mod, uh, when you explore little towns and stuff, the party members are scattered about. Like doing their own thing. Uh, okay. Conversations with the NPCs are like in the base game, but hey, the, look at that! That's so cool. You can see our characters just vibing about on their own in the towns. Kind of wholesome. Hmm. Oh, it's you. According to that small human over there, Avalanche was blamed for the president's death. I'm an expert on small-ass, dozy <laughs> towns like this. Comms a solid 8 out of 10 on the boring me shitless scale. Oh my god, the writing is so good. I love how unfiltered it is. Yuffie based as always. Uh-huh. Doo-doo-doo! Now I'm curious to see how they... ...incorporate Vincent, like... They made it so Yuffie's mandatory. So how are they going to go about that with Vince? Is he going to, like, greet us as some kind of, like, boss or something? Oh, that's cool. Uh, like when we go into Shinra Manor? Asking the real questions here. Hey, doggo. Dippy dippy doo. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It is goddamn astonishing, by the way, I have to say. Because I can't forget to mention from time to time um, the comparisons between this game and Rebirth. Now that we're playing OG FF7, albeit modded, after Rebirth. It is astonishing what they did with Calm. It sets, it, it sets such a good sort of like precedent for what the rest of the game is going to be like. You know? It really does an, a phenomenal job just setting the stage and showing you how much love, care, and scope, and ambition you're about to see with the rest of the, the title. This is just goddamn phenomenal. And this is a guy who will eventually, way down the line, give us all the cool jazz. Okay. Hey, look at Aerith is vibing up here. It is a little bit eerie, isn't it? How even though this mod came out before Rebirth, it's so the characters are doing things that are so similar to to what they end up doing in that game, especially Aerith, like the way she was going up the stairs in Shinra HQ. It kind of paralleled when she was going up the stairs, or rather going up Mount Corel. And now it's like Cloud and Aerith are up top in this perch here. Kind of like um, in Rebirth, where they're at the top of the tower before they escape. It's almost like they took cues from the mod, which I honestly can't blame them. This is a good mod. Town is so quiet. Too quiet, to be honest. It's a bit boring. Um, 
forgot about the uh, extended menu. I like these character portraits too. This is the item store. Um, I'll buy all this other shit. I have so much money. God, I am. God damn. Well, first things first, when you got a lot of money, you gotta spend it on shit that matters. Not that items don't, but this takes precedence. This will be a long trip. You gotta be prepared. Yo, leader man, about spending some of that money you leashed off of me. <laughs> so cool, man. Uh, Mithril Saber. Cannonball. Let's go claw. Um, and you can steal the Platinum Fist, I think is what it is, for Tifa from Mithril Mines, right? Or something else. But they might have changed that up in New Threat Mod here. Uh, we'll take this for her. Man, this shit's ass. Uh, I'll take that for Bigby. Bigby Wolf. Great game, by the way, Wolf Among Us. If you haven't played Wolf Among Us, go play Wolf Among Us. Making a second one. Um, right, I gotta like put Barrett's thing later on. Materia store. Materia. Yeah, okay. Poison. We need poison. Um, and heal. My god, heal is expensive. Forgot about that. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna get poison. Man, sell some stuff that I do not need to make enough. No, I won't. I really do want poison, though, just judging by the fact that, you know, we saw that weakness for Yuffie. Yes, and I think what I was trying to do earlier for Tifa was... Here we go, Mithril Claw. Was a quick poison, and now I can. Yeah, fantastic. Doop. Doop. Alright, gang. Let's mosey. I could just rest. I don't care though, I'm too lazy. I'm gonna tear up here and save here. Do not do the judging of me. But where's Tifa vibe at? Oh, stupid, she's in our party. Well, no, we, Yuffie's in our party too when we saw her out and about. You haven't seen Tifa in the town yet. Where does she hang out? In the inn? Oh, we already went in the inn. We saw all the characters except Tifa. Where's the best grill? Where's best grill? Just curious. Yeah, I, I want to like look at every nook and cranny of the mod. Just everything they, you know, changed up and stuff. Gotta appreciate the work that went into it, man. 100%. So... Wait, have we not gone up here? Uh, we, oh, is this... Oh, Curiel Greens, they changed it. Isn't this where you get the item for Vincent? You get his gun, the blunt line or whatever? Oh, I'm so, dude, I'm so glad I played OG FF7 not more than a year ago. So that way, like, some of this stuff is still fresh in my head. Uh, Curiel Greens obviously are for the Chocobos. I don't know why I'm looking that shit up. Um, hmm. Where be Tifa? I don't know. I'm sorry. Sorry, Tifa. Wait, what? Is she at the bar? Oh, shit. I forgot that this is, like, there's a bar here, and this is where it is. Of course she's at the bar. I finally got a chance to relax. We're safe now, I guess. Stay out of the kitchen. Sorry. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
I keep forgetting that this isn't an exit for Calm, but rather the entrance into the bar. And it's so cool, I just re realized in Rebirth they kept the archway the same, right? For going into the bar? Oh my goodness, it makes me appreciate the game so much more. Just like the little classic touches they kept in that game. Also making it so, you know, expansive and elaborate. Um, okay. We're back. Back to the open world. Let me check this out. This is so cool. I can't get over this mod either, where you can just zoom out and see everything. How cool that is. Hell yeah. This is so sick. Like, free cam it, like, borderline. Like, you have so much mobility with the camera. Alright, the motorcycle folks. Let's see if we can morph them. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I mixed up morph and manipulate. My mistake. I, uh, the one I was hyped for was actually manipulate. Where you change what they do. Or rather, so you become them. And then you use their attacks on whoever has enemy skill and you learn all the enemy skills. What was I trying to do here? Defend, I think, as you it was, was the thing where she throws shit. Damn. Yeah, so she retaliates with Mug, which is cool. So we're always getting shit. God, I, I played so much Yuffie towards the end game on my last playthrough. I always do, because she's so busted, dude. Especially with a conformer weapon, right? Or whatever, and like other crazy jazz she can do. Um Yuffie is busted. Even in Rebirth, man, they they she's just still like one of the most OP characters ever. Um And they they continue to make her appealing to play in New Threat Mod because of her innate ability, right? Like, she consistently gets the best shit. She really is a spoiled 16-year-old child. <laughs> like, I really don't want to play her again because I play her so often. I want to, like, spice things up. But it's so tempting. Do-do-do-do. the puppers got. Uh, are you gonna steal from the doggo after getting hit? Yes, you are. They have Phoenix Downs. Confirmed. Formed quite a few of them off of uh, these bozos. Let's cross slash you to the death dimension. See you later, pup. Oh, this bitch. Is he gonna run away? Whatever, fuck him. I won't like you anyway, dude. We're not gonna, like, run after you and feel all sad and shit. I forgot how, like, long it takes to run a Chocobo Ranch. Damn. It takes you a minute, doesn't it? Alright, uh, Tifa, check out what this dude's got this time, will you? Uh, Yuffie? Oh my god, that guy hits hard. What the fuck? There's all this damage that they can do. Uh, don't kill her, question mark? Please? I got you. Uh... Okay, yeah, she's gonna do that on everyone. I just wanna see what this fucking thief has got. God damn. Hey, oh, 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 fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Uh, oh god. If you throw a lead is ready. Oh, shoot, I forgot it's to charge up. Uh... Well, does it say nothing to steal, actually? No, it doesn't, it doesn't. 
He's got something alright. Why does he keep attacking Tifa, br uh, brother? Like, come on. I wanna kill this pup. Oh, snap. Cloud doesn't have Restore. Okay. And... Bitch. That's right, run away. We'll find out what she got someday. Someday, someday. Apparently not today. She does seem like it's gonna be today, but... Some damn day. I find it interesting how the third classes still have uh, hard edges in this. But they've largely changed up the item... Uh, placement for everything else. Like most other things. Alright, the chickens. Uh, defend. See what these chicks have got. You steal nothing! Try morphing it. With a conformer weapon plus morph, like it's it's game over. <laughs> Once we get that, uh, defendoid. All right, let's speed hack this. Oh shit, we actually got uh got him morphed. No way. So what? A war gong? The heck is that? Grants Berserk. Okay, that's that's new, right? <laughs> hey, Chocobo Ranch, but all modded and beautiful, and we can see all their characters vibing. Look at how cool this shit is. Look at how cool this shit is. What's going on, Yuffie? Here, Choco Choco. I love how you can see Aerith and Red just hanging out up there. God, this is my happy place, dude. This is my happy place right here. Modded or no? Huff, huff. <laughs> Doggo's got to get his exercise. Uh, weirdly, this hill reminds me of the end of Rebirth. It feels way too weird being out here. Everything is all open and empty. Don't you miss the city? Not even just a little bit? There's a strange lass, that Aerith. Strange lass. A city gal. Scared of the beautiful green pastures. Cannot blame her, though. Her, uh, her quirkiness is what makes her so good. Everyone's quirkiness and uniqueness is what makes them so good. I'm just standing watch to make sure you don't spend any more of our cash on useless shit. <laughs> Barishes to the stables. Hey, Chol! Oh my God, this is her name is still Chol. I wish they had changed it to Chloe, like they did in Rebirth. Uh, do you want a chocobo? Give me one. Give me free food, free chocobo. Uh, folks are out of luck. We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go and catch one. I don't know how to catch a chocobo. Uh, it's pretty much the same as usual, right? Assuming nothing's too different. Uh, let's get, let's get down to brass tacks. Give me the lore. I'll buy the lore. And, uh, we got some greens. Uh, keep them distracted as she is. Some, uh, gasso all greens for now. Yes, sir. Don't mind if I do. One should be good enough. I ain't into the business of breeding chocobos at the moment, kiddo. But when I am, trust me, I'll be back for some good-ass greens. I'm gonna cross the marshes. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, dude, by the way, holy fuck, when I played Rebirth, I was blown away by just how detailed goddamn chocobo uh, Billy's or chocobo Bill's model was. It was, like, scarily lifelike. Out of literally everyone in the whole damn game. He looked the most lifelike. It was like almost uncanny valley how good it was. 
Uh, ooh, that'll probably be safer for you to get a chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes on the chocobo. It's the only way in rainbow colors to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zolom. Midgar Zolom is a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. It detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then BAM! It attacks. To avoid that, buy a chocobo here at Chocobo Bell's Chocobo Ranch. Purchase a red chocobo. Yes, I talked to my grandson. I get it. I talked to him already. I bought some stuff. Should be proud of him. Uh, looking for an N? I just want to talk to Tifa. I want to talk to my girl. That man was warning me about some giant snake that lives in the marshes. It's pretty tough, but if we can, we can, if we weaken it somehow, then maybe we can take it. Fax, fax. God damn it, like... Uh, no, I'm not interested. I'm leaving. S stop trying to, like, bleed me dry here, dude. Alright, the chocobo dance. Gotta do it. Wark, wark. Are we gonna get the, uh, chocobo summon? Or is it gonna be different? Is it a different item? Love how they're a different color, too. They're, like, gray. Got, like, gray chocobos up in this game now. Huh. Choco Mog Materia. Yes, sir. It is the Chocobo Summon indeed. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, counterattack. I don't want to counterattack, actually. I want my Chocobo Lure. My Chocobo Lure. Um. Uh, we definitely need. Uh, Kuraudo to have I don't have cover on the fuck <laughs> uh, we need him to have restore my doggies okay uh, also who's got like a dank restore materia Oh, no one. Okay, good, good, good. I thought some other characters we don't have on our uh, team have some shit that we don't, uh, don't want to equip. Or that we do want to equip? What am I saying? Okay. Uh, let's say again. What's this? All right, all right, all right. What the hell is... Is anyone watching the Mike Tyson-Jake Paul fight right now? I'm getting updates from my friend about what's going on over there, and it sounds like some wacky shit. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> hey! Hope you're proud of me for that one. Absolutely pun intended. I changed my mind. Uh, Chocobo Laura. Alright, good thing I have that on. Before I equipped it, like, literally three seconds ago. Oh, wait, now we have a yellow chocobo. What? Okay, so they are still here. Uh, little guy. What the fuck? Why are those grassy boys so fucking strong? What in, what what in shit's name? They're usually not this strong. Actually, I think they are. It's just that you don't fight these enemies next to Chocobos near Chocobo Ranch usually, right? Fuck, oh, dude. Oh my god. Do we have to actually get the stronger greens for this shit? I mean, these, like, little grass men are fucking powerful as shit. Holy crap. <laughs> god damn. Uh, we're not that much HP even. Okay, they're weak against ice. I'll keep that in mind for the next fight. Oh, more if your ass. Uh, I'm gonna steal. Let's see if I can get anything on the way out. Nothing to steal at all. 
Certified surfer music. I think this is the longest I've ever been in a battle listening to the Chocobo theme in FF7. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. That was kind of nice. Alright, we got two more Giosol Greens for our troubles. Uh, well, I mean, like, shit. I need, um, I need another ice. That's for damn sure. Or, like, another uh, more powerful green, that's what I meant to say. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to take him out while that truck was eating like a goddamn Gyasal green, you know? Oh, that's what, hang on, no. I sort of like toss the two other ones with uh, Tifa, or like one other one with Tifa. And then with, um, All right, immediately ice this bad boy. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, actually, fuck. He's going to run away. No, he's not. We're okay. False alarm. Uh, Cloud, you throw another green, please. If you will. Greased lightning. Oh, what the fuck? Shit, I fucked up. I threw it on the, the grass man. Shit. Uh, wait, wait, are we still gonna do this? Even though it's scuffed as hell? Oh, probably not, probably not. Oh, oh, oh! Wait! This chocobo has the patience of a saint, thank god! Iced into sh- I fucking scammed! What the- Iced into jack shit to this guy! What? Oh, my brother in Christ. Weak against ice, my ass. I didn't do jack all, man. All right, hang on. <laughs> we got any greens from that show? Oh, we didn't. Okay. All right, fine. I'll be sad about it. The game wants me to be sad. I'll be sad. I'll play a long game. And this is the longest it's ever taken me to get a chocobo <laughs> at the start of FF7. Okay, bro. Yes, I know. Can you please let me sleep? Thank you. I'll give you a hundred bucks. I'll give you a hundred bucks. Bum -ba -bum. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We see good RNG. Like, if we run into the Chocobo with those two other chicken littles, it will be absolutely fine. It's a little grass people that are pain in the butt. In the ass. Uh, Pashana. Let's take the Pashana greens. Pashana. Gonna do that. Mm hmm. 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 Of course, it's too grasp. Oh, for this. Do I do this fight? Fuck this fight, man. I'm running. We out. Yeah, you run. We're gonna run. I'm with you on that one, Chocobo. They're in some bad company right now. We're gonna stay away from these grassy boys. No one likes grassy boys. We're gamers, man. We don't like grass. We don't like touching grass. Okay. Mm, about, fuck. They have like it, it takes so long for them to go down. For some reason, we're so weak. Well, actually, it take like, it take like less damage, but all right. some powerful ass spells here. Oh my god, it missed. Oh, wait, sh sh fucking kidding me. I 
damn HP does this thing have, dog? Definitely weaker against magic in general. Keep eating your green, Chocobo. You know you like that green. You know you love it. You know you love it. You know you're dead with this one. Please be dead. Thank you. Appreciate you. God damn. I don't remember. I don't know what it is about uh, this portion of the game that is taking me so long with the new threat mod. I, I, like, a part of me wants to say that you normally never have to face those assholes. Uh, in the base game, in this area. And them kind of overstaying their welcome because of how little damage they take. Makes it a bit of a pain in the butt. Is it going to be interesting? Did they change anything with the Midgar Zolom here? <clears throat> I assume not. Let's Zephyros do this. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Looks like he did. Ba -da -ba. All right, see you later, little dude. I'm gonna save here because I, I forget. There's a way to get beta from uh, Midgar Zalem, right? Oh, we're gonna get absolutely fucked. Uh, no doubt about it. But, 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 but. Um, can we run away while uh, Cloud is messed? I, I forget what, like, there's an order in which he does his attacks and shit. Well, like, how do we get him to do beta? I don't get that to happen. Can't have Cloud being dead. We need to use Beta on Cloud. Oh, obviously that's the Yuffie. Nothing to steal, true, I forgot. Uh, just gonna go in for a basic attack. Won't lie. Love how, like, every death blow's landing here. Gotta appreciate that. It will be nice to have him do beta, and then for Cloud to learn it, Cloud to be dead, but Tifa comes back because of that, like, little res thing she can do, right? Um... I'm just gonna keep whacking him here, actually. Uh, I'll care too, why not? I'm actually fighting the Zolom. I think like, I bodied within like three seconds of this fight at this point in the game, like early on. You're not meant to be able to fight him. He hasn't even done his eject move yet. Oh, like I forgot he like kind of um, stands up tall. Oh, he's frozen. What? Oh, does Cross Slash do that sometimes? What the hell? Oh lord, he about to... Uh, never mind, not eject someone, apparently. Yep, now he is. Now he is! Prepare yourselves! Abandon your posts! Flee for your lives! Oh, he's gonna do that for us. Oh, beta! Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
So, we successfully pilfered a dope-ass ability early on in the game. That's what I love doing in FF7. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things, is when you can successfully steal, or learn, rather, uh, beta and make it the fuck out of there. Okay. Let's keep on keeping on. I'm gonna go through the mithril mines. Ooh, these boys. Boys here. These guys have um platinum fist, I believe, for Tifa. What are what they got now? Uh, I'm not going to defend in the event that this dude... I just feel like I have a speed hack on. I don't. <laughs> Cannonball. That was easy. Some materia in the top left. That's always there, the ping materia. Right? Got a tent. Got some bishes. Uh, who's got what? Someone has a little something or another. Soft, okay, interesting. Uh, Phoenix down, okay, interesting. Ouch. I gotcha. Uh, greased lightning. on oh, the flying bozo. Show them hell, youths. Yeah. New stage attack. Get out of here with that shit. Bad. That's it. Let's see what the snake has got. Uh, the roulette is ready. Beautiful. So we get from this guy. I don't. Guess it's helpful. That's not. Ow. <laughs> guys are spongy. And that guy's dead. Full beans? Enemy lore materia. Oh, does that increase your like encounter rate? Yeah, encounter up. That's a new one from New Threat, right? It's gotta be. Cool. Kill. Kill. Uh, I wanna equip it now. <laughs> I don't have all night to play this game. But uh, I, I think a good, a good place to equip it would definitely be uh, the final dungeon against a little like mover enemies to farm a lot of AP. Right. Cool. Okay. Save again. Like these assets. Like quick work of them. Quick work, I say. <laughs> oh, shit, I don't have enough MP to do beta yet, I guess. 
Sag. All right. Kung Fu fighting time. Best believe it. We're breaking limits. and breaking faces. I'm breaking snakes. and dodging snakes. Yeah. That's what it is all about. Swamp shoot. Oh, fuck that. Doodip 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 Lovely 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 Uh what am I trying to do save in here? It will be shit. Maiden's Grace. All these new items, man. Interesting. Cures Confusion and Berserk. Cool, cool. 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 I should put Yuffie in the back row, by the way. I don't know why she's in the front row. Oh, well, for her, like, um... Innate, right? Oh, she can't do it and all, all that? To be real, I probably should be running Barret here, just to be able to, like, shoot all the enemies. Make my life way easier. Barret for shooty shooty McBanging, and, uh, Aerith for healy healing. It's a little, it's a little too simple for me, you know, I gotta, like, gotta get a small Yoda of challenge here. Sometimes I just love the good old-fashioned spamminess of going after, like, just slamming A, going after an individual enemy at a time. That's good, man. I keep trying to do that. What game am I thinking of? I just, after every battle, I can save wherever I want. It was definitely a game. Hold it! <laughs> That's cool. So now instead of Rude, it's Reno here. So far, we've only been encountering Rude. Oh man, suits are always bad news. All right, let's get this over with. Are you actually gonna fight him here as a boss? Get yeah, what over with? You're gonna make me spell this out. It's a waste my time. I always get the job done. Nothing personal. Yeah, we're fighting Reno. Oh shit, we get all our stats back. That's hella nice. Like how they keep the Turks theme while fighting him. Uh, that's his favorite ass shit to do. Well, I hope he uses it on Cloud, because I think Cloud can le uh, learn Trine or... Well, is that Trine? Slightly different, no. Okay, that was funky. I don't think I should have gotten hit by that. Good thing I didn't. Swift Bolt. Interesting. It definitely do be the uh, Ting of the Interest kind. God damn, Yuffie just took a whole lot of damage. What the flippage? Cannot be having that, sir. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 bro. Mm-hmm. Let's attack. Let's attack. And tarot cage. Oh god, not this again. I'm gonna do something about that. Got you. Oh my god. Strap almost nuked her there. Not good, not good. Why is he only going after Yuffie, dude? What the fuck is your problem? Like, shit, I get, I get shit, she's a thief and all, and, you know, it's not fun getting your materia stolen, but damn! Reno's got no chill. I thought he was, like, you know, a, a, a bad dude with a good heart. That does not scream good heart to me. At all. 
Hey, you got what you deserve here. Whooped his ass. Sir! We're gonna fight Elena now. Sorry I'm late. We have new orders. Kinda busy here. Ah, uh, the head honcho. Stand down, Reno. Mr. Sung! I remember giving you orders to fight them. I'll handle the rest from here. Both of you go. Don't forget to file your report. Oh, right. Very well. Reno and I will head for Junon Harbor to catch Sephiroth. Elena, please. You don't seem to understand. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Go. Don't let Sephiroth get away. Sir, yes, sir. Dude, Elena was so good in Rebirth. There's like this whole Mithril Mines portion was amazing. That's so much cool shit happens. And yeah, like they, it absolutely peaks with the uh, Rude and Elena boss fight. Maybe you're retreating right now, but don't go thinking you've won. No, just one on my to-do list. See you later. And dude, on hard mode, oh my fucking god. I forgot that Mithril Golem fight was absolutely bonkers. Uh, with Barrett and Red 13 versus uh, that Mithril Golem boss. God damn, why was that so hard? <laughs> Where's Aerith? Isn't she with you? Aerith isn't with us right now. She's with the others. I'll give you her number. Oh, then give her my regards. Give her your regards. I'll give you her number so you can call her. Because she ain't here right now. Seems Elena briefed you all. Well, it doesn't matter. The company wants us to find Avalanche and Sephiroth, but... Let's just say our hands are full. They're not worth our time. You're letting us go? Just depends. Let's forget about Sephiroth and stay out of Shinra's way. Okay. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. A robed man and a little toy soldier. What the? F That's new. Tranquilizer. Oh, hi. Oh, butthole music here. That's kind of nice. I should probably just change that permanently, shouldn't I? But I hope it doesn't replace the boss fight music with just regular stage music. Sometimes it's kind of like chill just to have the levels music during the um, enemy encounters. No lie. Is her spark? Boop. Boop. Boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. Everyone, come get some healing. Feel a healing beat. Skadoom, skadoom, skashoom. If he throw lights is ready. Beautiful. Okay. Hang about. So I'm gonna finally use this goddamn ability. I, have to just, I keep, like, hyping it up saying, oh, it's ready. Ooh. And I never use it. Like, bruh, come on. Come on now. Look at this shit. What the? I gotta use it, like, every single day of the damn week. What was that damage? Brother, that was, like... A limit break without limit breaking. Dear God. Uh, echo drops. All right, I'll take that. I'll take the little soldier. I don't think I ever got all 35 of them ever, man. <laughs> the collector looks like a Sephiroth clone. Ah, oh, you picked it up already. That's a one out of 35 soldier you have there. Or 135th soldier. Oh, sorry, I'm fucking dumb. That's the size of the soldier. I keep forgetting. Uh, there's actually 12. Uh, 12 at a set. I've always dre uh, dreamt of having all 12, but it's never been possible until now. Say, you get a round right, you can find the whole set of 12, I'll give you something in return. Oh, is he implying that an OGF of 7 it somehow wasn't possible or something like that? And, and like, now it is in this mod? Am I understanding that right? That's cool, so let's like remember that he's here. I mean, you side quests we're getting with the mod. Kind of wild. All right, we out. Um, a Fort Condor. That should be kind of interesting. Anything new going on there? Let's check in on it. Uh, zoom out. I was got a dude. I really gotta admire this. Um, fully zoomed out view of the world map and traverse it with this as much as I can. Oh. 
These guys, I remember, you can steal boomerangs for Yuffie, I think. Oh? Well, yeah. Maybe they changed it here for a new threat, though. Let's see. Let's see what we can snag here. Oh dear, Cloud's gonna get angry about that, isn't he? Nope, he didn't retaliate with his Punisher mode. We're good. I'll just keep changing his position so that he's not put into Punisher stance. Problem is, um, Yuffie might, uh, throw here. Well, I can just do the same thing with her. Alright, let's, um... Speed this up a bit. Try and grab what we want to grab, whatever it is. Uh, can't cure anyone no more. Oh my lord, this is going to be one of those fights. Yes, we do get the boomerang still. Okay, disable that shit. Let's kill him. All right, Yuffie. It's time to put him in the ground. Good work, Tifa. Got us the boomerang. The boomer schmang. Clear tranquil devised. Oh, yeah. Heal up. Okay, lovely. Uh, let us... Proceed. You're here for supplies, or I'm afraid you're out of luck. Use everything we have trying to fight off Shinra. If they attack us now, we won't be able to fend them off. If I can, I can give you directions to Junon if you're heading that way. Uh, where is Hunan? Sure thing. You head for the coast and follow it, you should run into Junon. It's a coastal city built into a hill. Keep an eye out for the giant cannon. You can't miss it. So it's interesting how much they changed up about this part in Rebirth. Um, there isn't exactly Fort Condor. It's still like a, a mini game, like board game, uh, which is really cool. Uh, but as for like all this stuff going on in the real world, they still adapt bits and pieces, right? There's that like lighthouse or something like that that you go up to on that hill where, the, where people kind of like revere the bird and they like, you know, kind of have those like telescopes and binoculars and stuff that they use to kind of just like do bird watching essentially they watch with a condor but i think they kind of allude to the fact that there might actually be a fort that we might get to go to in part three potentially especially during like the huge materia chase and stuff because like way off in the yonder you can actually see that that bird is perched on something that condor is on something you know but largely, it's insane, dude, how much they, like, expanded on the Junon region. That little, like, dark patch that you see around the, uh, under Junon on the world map. It's, like, so... It just created this whole ass open zone out of it. It's insane. Holy moly. Not selling anything right now. Right? True, true, true. true. See how they, like, um... The heck is this little thing? It's like a machine. Was that ever there before? Yet. What have we here? You picked a fine time to visit Fort Condor. Your eyes are different. Anyhow, we uh, this hill is about to be attacked by Shinra forces. You'd best clear up before you get caught up in the fighting. Sorry we couldn't help you. Why would Shinra attack such a small settlement? Too bad for you, old man. Come on, let's bounce. Wait, I recognize your faces. Aren't you that anti-Shinra group? The news called you Avalanche. Uh, maybe you could help us after all. All right, let's hear it. Anything different about this minigame or anything like that? There's a condor at the top of the mountain, isn't there? The reactor and the condor. I see you're very perceptive. Yes, it's a reactor and a condor. Yeah, like, of course, the elephant in the room, the reactor, right? Did they establish? My apologies if, if it's a very obvious detail I'm forgetting. There wasn't a reactor, right, in the, the Junon region that the condor is perched on top of. 
Uh, I don't think that's like a part of the story or the plot in any way or that region at all. But like I said, maybe in part three we'll see something. Yeah, they could expand on it further. So wrong with having a condor on top of the reactor? Hey, wait a minute. There's a reactor, then that means there'll be materia. It's not just the reactor either. Some kind of special materia being held inside of it. Huge materia. Problem is, the condor has already started warming its eggs. If it leaves, it'll die. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Bird is very rare. Yeah, they respect the bird. Want to keep it safe. Uh, we want to keep it safe. It's got materia. You feel the materia. We want to keep the materia safe. The bird's safe. Shinra wants the reactor safe. Fuck Shinra. They just don't... You should value the bird over the reactor. <laughs> Uh, okay, yes, yes, yes. Uh, we can snag ourselves on Materia if we play our cards right here, Cloud. All right. Okay, it's settled. We help him and get that Materia. Wait. So are we actually going to get that huge Materia from doing the mini game now? As opposed to just like, you know, getting it via the story? Like, way later on, like, in the vanilla game? Is that what they're establishing with New Threat here? That you actually get a worthy reward by playing through Fort Condor minigame? It might be. Just might be. Alright, let's climb up faster. Yeah, we'll go talk to this guy, and I might end it here, guys. Like I said, gonna be a short stream. We will end by raiding someone since it's early tonight. Alright, yep. Condor's vibing. Thanks for accepting. Uh, here is a strategy. Uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We need to protect the hill. Uh, average fighter costs 400 gil, with 20 costing 8,000. We're broke. Uh, huh. Mm hmm. It's all the same, I'm assuming. That's the exact same. I'd, I'd imagine it would be, right? Right. I heard enough. Um, shit, I should have skipped the battle. <laughs> I like how it goes back into... I wanna go broke! I wanna play Fort Condor right now. What the fuck? Uh, all right, I'll play it. I'll play it. I'll entertain this madness. I have a lot of beasts, right? He said. Yes, we need the attackers. I'll just start and play reactively. That's what I. That's how I usually roll. All right, let's speed up this sheet. Let us speed it up. We got a beast. Dip, 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 dip. Let's start here. All right, I'll start here. Okay, Gem. Okay. Okay. To battle, comrades. Speed hacks plus in-game speed hacks. That's nice. Ooh, that's nice. A wyvern? Keep fighting! Keep fighting, men! Do not falter! Oh, 
fight them beasties. Good. Enemy destroyed. Good. You messing him up. Uh, you mess him up. Really not trying to deploy as few units as I can for this shit. Not want to go all out by any means. Okay. Let us do attacker. Attack him. Gonna kill him at all. Please do. Come on. One more hit, buddy. Good job. Uh. He mess with him. Do 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 do. More beasties. Lots of beasties. Yeah, let them fight. Let them fight. Good, good, good. Keep on keeping on. Shit. Got overwhelmed. Okay, wait. Down on the ground, soldier. Soldier. Dude, I need you to, to help out too. Get in there, get back. Work harder, not smarter. All right, big beast is coming up. All right, you focus on big boy beast. doing? Stop playing with their thumbs. Got work to do, soldier. Good man. Got work to do, too. Derp, 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 derp. Double trouble. Hell yeah. to the yuckage. Alright. It's 3v1, pal. It's totally over for us, potentially. Guys are at the end of their rope here. Well, the, the left dude, more specifically. Here we go. Toasted. Has the highest HP. Oh, jeez. Can we disable that speed hack for a sec? Bro, where's this guy going, man? With the skill issue. Commander Dick here has got so much HP still. You just like roll stones for now? That actually kind of works. Double trouble. Double trouble. Trouble trouble. Yeah, that's right. Kick his ass. Please don't one shot my stoners. They're into drugs. It's their passion. They're passionate about things. Good job. GG's. <laughs> I hated that I blew all my gill on this fucking minigame, whatever. <laughs> Oh my god. Here's 800 bucks back. Well, thanks for nothing. By the way, I found this on the battlefield. It might be useful to your magic calm. 
Uh, what does that do again? Oh, true, it's a weapon for red. Yes. Okay, bye. <laughs> I had 6k gil and now I'm so broke, oh my god. Alright, let's mosey on out. <laughs> now let's end this on the uh, note that is Fort Condor. Beautiful. Alright, cool stuff, man. Um, Yeah, probably the highlight of the new threat. Uh, play tonight was seeing the stuff with Yuffie, I guess. I was pretty lit how they made her mandatory. Looking forward to seeing how they do that with uh, Vincent, for sure. Um, been cool so far. Lots of the um, switcheroos for characters and scenarios and stuff. we kind of awesome to witness. Looking forward to seeing more of it. But yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. I will end things off with a raid if we got any friends streaming in the neighborhood. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> All right. Oh, cool. We got Soul Death on. Great Soul Death. Lovely new dude who I uh, met the other day in the community. Playing some um, Fortnite at the moment. But, uh, what was he playing the other day? See a, see a Stars update. Yeah, it was real fun hanging out with him. He's a uh, fellow dude. All right, for those of you in, um, for those of you Max Dude fans out there, he's a fellow dude. He's got some really cool, awesome collectibles. Super swell dude to just hang out, chat with, and, and vibe with and stuff. So let's go show him all the love. And, um, and things off with that with the with the lovely raid it feels good man it's been so long since i have done a raid here so it's gonna be nice um because yeah it's quite rare that we end things this early uh thank you for stream maddie have a good night and a good day with your friend tomorrow thanks so much ian yes and i should mention i will be back tomorrow evening for uh for another stream as per the schedule i might be playing some overwatch um so if you're down ian um yeah as always feel free and have a good time with some overwatch we'll probably play some more classic because um i'm talking to my friend jacob about um maybe playing some with him tonight or sorry tomorrow night as well um and getting him into classic he's been looking forward to playing that this week so uh should be a good time we'll probably play some more overwatch and go from there but until then guys take damn good care of yourselves thank you so much for being here ian and tracks and of course momo Ah, uh, dude, Mobile, thank you so much for the follow and just uh, tuning on over from uh, TZ, ser TZ server, sorry, and dropping all the lovely memes and keeping my server well and alive. Got uh, pundits, we've got meme dits, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> uh, lovely to see that. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys very much. I'll catch you all tomorrow. And um, yeah, all right, we're going to end this with a raid on um soul death's stream let's go show them all the love okay have a damn good one guys we'll play the intro while doing or play the outro while doing the raid keep on keeping on